Now, at the end of the job, I called town clerk's office and I said, I'd like to talk to a couple of select board members here because somebody doesn't seem to be doing their job. One end of that driveway was a tired driveway, which the town tired it for a reason. And that was all taken away in the flood. And at the other end of the drive, the town did work that they shouldn't have done because that road wasn't involved in the flood at all. And they raised it so damn high that it was hard to drive out of the driveway. So Susan Bartlett and David Gunnier were the ones that came. And I pointed this out. And I was told by them, oh, they're not done, Ronnie. They're coming back. They're not done. Well, they did not come back. Then we come into 2021, okay? <clears throat> July 20th of 2021. My mother died the day after her 89th birthday. In October, the situation was finally taken care of. And the response that I got from Susan Bartlett was, well, it's been taken care of. I don't like to hear that from any person that's in that type of position, because to me, that's a smart ass answer. And you know, when there are people here in this town that think they're better than other people, well, I'm going to tell you right now, we were all created from one person. So you better think twice before you start talking about people. Now, I called last month. Okay. Because I had a problem with what was done on the road. Okay. This that stems to the same situation? Well, with this with this flood situation, like I said, that was that was done. Okay. But what I'm gonna say is they had these big barrels. They had one up by my mother's garage, and they had one at the end of her driveway. Now the road commissioner came up, and the one that was there, he moved it, put it inside my mother's garage. Now that's my mother's property. You don't do nothing unless you ask the homeowner. Okay. Another thing he did, he went down the driveway and took the one that was there, put it in almost the middle of her lawn. And there again, Hyde Park does not own was this, her property. Was this in the last incident or was this in 2020? This is 2020. This was like the flood was in 2019. The work was done in 2020. Her driveway won't fixed until October of 2021. To me, there is no damn excuse for what was done to this woman. The disrespect that she got from the town. And the following week, maybe it was two weeks, seven o'clock in the morning, there was this terrible grinding and stuff at the end of the driveway. Well, I sleep in the bedroom. My mother was sleeping down in the living room. My mother was battling cancer, and she was also battling a severely broken arm, but she had been taken to the ER in St. Albans and had it all pinned and stuff together. And three months later, all the pins and stuff were out, so everything had to be redone. Now, my mother was battling this stuff, and she should not have to dealt with any road crew in any disrespect. And so... We'll go back to that morning hearing that noise. So I thought somebody was pounding the door yard. It made that kind of a rumbling, grinding noise. But then the noise kept on. So that I went out. My mother's door yard was blocked by the town. My mother's driveway is a mail route, first of all. And first of all, a town does not block somebody's door yard unless they talk to them. So, and he and he did move that truck. Okay, so because uh, I okay. told him to. Okay. I might have got a nasty response, but I know what I'm talking about. Were they she working the, she, out there? Yeah, or? they were working okay. out there. Okay. And you know what? I says, why didn't you tell us? And you know what the response was? I don't have to. I don't know what's wrong with you younger generations, but you treat older people like we're nothing. Well, you know what? I don't, you wouldn't I don't be where you were today if it weren't for some of us that worked our butts off. And furthermore, 
I was the cemetery commissioner for the town of Eden. 12 years, I was the president and the chair. So I think I know a little bit of town business. And I know that that road, the Thompson Road, that was paved, was done with FEMA money. And that was not involved in the flood. And when Mark French and Griggs came up to my house the other day, and Susan Barrow, and this was brought right out of the pool because I brought them up to the house. I wanted them to come to the house because of damage that was done by the road crew when they do the sides of the road. And uh, Mark French spoke right up. He says, well, he says, you know, the town paid for that road up in the woods. I didn't ask about that. Somebody feels guilty somewhere. Okay, and so I, think, I think I think I want I would like you people that you're so good at your jobs. Show me the paperwork from that job and and show me the bill that you sent for FEMA. And I want to see that the town paid for that road. And then I want to know why that road was paved with town money when there's other roads in the town that should have been paid. And I want to find out, is it because of certain names of people that live up there? Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, but, maybe because Howard Monash's okay. son lived up there, and I'll say it, I'm not afraid to. Okay, um, I'm just wondering which the reason is that you're here tonight, because you're you're not on the well, agenda, so we just, I'm well, just wondering. Well, I called, and I wanted to be on the agenda. I wanted my own thing. Kim informed me today when I came <clears> to <throat> pick up the letters that your so-called town administrator sent to my mother. Okay. You people don't have the nerve to face people anymore. You got to send letters to an old person. Do you realize we were having okay, COVID sir, back then? Okay, we need. Yeah. All right. And so I, I got these letters, and I want to tell you another thing about your town administrator. I came to get copies of these letters before. Your town administrator gave me a copy of one, and then he told me he couldn't give me the other one. He couldn't find it. So when I came here today, Kim says, well, we're still trying to look for those letters. Well, the man that you have in that office, he heard it. He went right in there and he come out with both letters. Okay. But the reason I wanted my own thing was because I wanted to come here and I want the people in town, Hyde Park to realize how elderly people are treated in this town. And you know what? When a person is dealing with cancer and stuff, the more arguing and the frustration that you cause, causes their demise. You okay. do know that. Well, you know, no, I, I want sir, you to understand. No, no, I need you to calm down. I okay. Am calm. Okay. I am and calm. I'm not sure what, what you want us to accomplish this evening, but. Well, anybody would understand that you guys have done wrong. The okay. road crew did very wrong okay. in the treatment of my mother. And another thing I okay, want to Okay, that say, was long before our time. I'm talking well, about right now. Well, I do. Well, I, do. Let's, I want the town of Hyde Park to know what my mother went through. Okay, well, they know All now. right? Okay, they know. They want to know when you had your first okay. baby and you want to tell about it. Well, tell about it. I'm not going to stop you. Well, I want other people to find out how an elderly person that was 87 years old when this started and 89 when she died and what she dealt with. Okay. okay, that's okay. my point of being here. Okay, sir. Okay, just just with all due respect, I'm sorry you went through that. However, uh, every person in this board was not one of us were on that. Board. I know, but you've got to be clear to understand what some of us went through. This has all been put undercover, and I want it out there. I want the people to understand what was done to my mother. Okay, so that and, okay, and, and but it's, it's continues it's for future. It's for future. Don't let something factor for four years. We are very, we are very open people. If this guy had an issue, I'll, I'll admit if me and Chas didn't show up to his house, I just admitted it. I'm going to go there tomorrow. Well, okay, I'll, I'll give you a question. When I called last month and I requested two select board meetings of people at my house or my mother's place and a ruler that was at least 24, 25 foot long, and you know what? Susan Bartlett was the only one that showed up. I drove down and looked at it. I just drove by to see what we were looking yeah. at. Yeah. And I, I did. I, and I, first I, of all, I did follow up. Uh, you and I share the same last name. So I asked Susan, I don't know. It, it's sometimes considered a conflict of interest. Right. So I wasn't able. So I did ask Susan, 
and said that the, the, the issue was resolved. Yeah, well, it won. I think Susan better watch her steps from now on because, you know, she thinks maybe well, because she not, was a senator that she's something great. Gonna, but you know what? People that are in office are brought down. However, if the issue was not clear, we're gladly sitting here to listen. I would love to hear what the issue is. If you want to meet out tomorrow, I'll find a way to meet you tomorrow as well. So, but, but, well, I'm saying that issue, all right. Now, the town was wrong. Now, the other day when I called, it was because these people that decide they're going to do the role when they should have done it in the summertime, wait until the fall to do it. And then they take the machine, as lazy as these young people are nowadays, and they shove it right into the trees like that. Sometimes they rip half a tree off. And it's more than your 25 feet that you're allowed to so I want you to remember that so that if you guys end up having a homeowner that's really upset and may want to take you to court, it's because you've treaded on their land. And we aren't going to step back anymore. We're standing up for our rights, and that's what I want you to know. The other day when they were up there for this little situation about the tree branches that were dragged in front of my mother's garage or on the side of my garage, and I have a little wagon and cart that I put limbs in on and go across the road and dump them in a pile. Now I have less than 20% total function of my heart. And right now I'm dealing with my kidneys failing. I'm not in very good health and I haven't been for a long time. But by God, as long as I'm alive, I'm not going to let people run over me like they did to my mother. And I'm making it clear now that any more involvement that town has with the Morin residents, they better have their business square. When people come into my dooryard, or my mother's dooryard, my mother has a dooryard where you can drive in this end, you can drive up to the house, park your car, then when you get out, you can drive down and out the other way. The road commissioner and his worker told me that was illegal. That was an illegal driving. My mother lived there for 62 years. That house was built in 1850, whatever. And now you're trying to say you have an illegal driveway? What What is wrong with people throwing all this stuff up when that wasn't even the issue that they came to my house for? And Susan Bartlett did not get a very good welcome because I don't like the smart attitude, first of all. And the second of all, it took a week and a half before anybody got hold of me. And like I said, when a person in town has a problem, how long does it take you to pick up a phone and say, hello, is this Mr. Morin? I heard you have a problem. What's going on? But a week and a half, I call the town clerk, and then she has to put out another thing. And then, of course, when Susan called me up on a whatever day, and the number was seven, seven, whatever. And I thought it was a Rutland number and it's all a scam, so I didn't pick it up. And she says, well, we were up here. Well, yeah, you were two weeks afterwards. There's no excuse for that. I don't see an excuse. You know what, if we didn't pay our damn taxes, a lot of people wouldn't have their money for their payment. So is so your remember that is your issue taken care of? Well, I'm just that, laying my issue down now, and I do have another issue I'm going to bring up. Now you allow the road commissioner when he gets done work, he takes the town vehicle home. Am I right? Yep. Okay. Now, if anything happens with that town vehicle, who's responsible? We've had this conversation. Yeah. Yes, we've had this Your conversation. Your insurance, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I want you to ask your insurance company that if there is alcohol in a town vehicle, whether the accident is or is not the town's fault, is there a liability? And I won't say any more than that. If you want me to get the name of the store owner, and you want me to get testimony, I will. But at this time, I didn't have time. Okay. I don't lie. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, thank you. And I just want you to know 
that there's people out there and we aren't, we're sick and tired of people trying to run over us. Okay. So I came out of a family of eight. Okay. Six siblings and a mother and father. By the time I turned 20 years old in 1975, I had already lost three siblings. One with crib death, one with a D disease like cystic fibrosis, and one with cancer. He died a week before his 15th birthday, went to the And in 1975, five days after my birthday, my father was killed working for the state highway with 12 ton of machinery on him. So when you start jumping on people, and another thing, I heard that from that meeting I had with those three people that I named, that Ron Moran was drinking. Okay? That's what was said. And somebody that heard it was mad, and they came to me. Ron Moran does not drink. Okay. Okay. I didn't, I don't, I don't know the Ron situation. Ron Moran <laughs> is medically in a... Okay. And the most I drink is New Year's Eve. I have a little thing of coffee, brandy, and milk, and that is it. Okay. I take nine pills in the morning, and I take four at night. And I just want to say, when the people come to your house and then they start spreading rumors, that isn't right either. And I agree. First of all, people that live in glass houses don't shouldn't throw stones. Hey, I'll, I'll, say, I'll agree. say this. I've been on the board a couple of years. I work as hard as I can. I work a job where I work 75 hours a week. If I don't make it to you within two weeks, I am sorry. This this position. Well, the thing of it is, mm -hmm. there's five I, I, of you. I've given you the respect. I've given I you the respect down. to speak in now. Give me the respect. Yeah, to speak. So, yeah you can be. Yeah. We all work hard. This is a this is a position where we pretty much volunteer our time. We are doing the good of the town. We try to do the best. Yeah. This is the first time I have met you. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of somewhere in the family tree I am related to you, however. I, this is the first time I have heard your complaint. So, therefore, if you want me to go to your house with a tape measure, if you want me to be out there, if, you, if there is a complaint or something you want me to handle, other than something that happened four years ago, I cannot fix the past. Well, I, I know. Mean, if, if your mother was mistreated, but I, I am sorry. I just that. wanted it put out there, that's all. I, I want trying to because I was told that you guys were all new people and I do understand it. But I wanted you to know as a board what has happened well, before. I've heard you say four or five times, you know, blah blah blah, the sewer, whatever it's gonna be, plain and simple. We are only doing the best we can do yes. with what we have. And everyone here works hard. Every one of us on this board has a full time job. Every one of us is a town member in this. Community. But you're not any different than anybody in any other not. town. From the time that they started these boards, the people on these boards worked their ass off and they still had the meeting. So you're not any different. I'm not saying them, but I can. And I've been on boards before too, so I know. Uh, all our positions will be reelected in March. Well, I won't be here because I'm moving back to East. So I lived with my mother for 12 years and I took care of her for the years. Not very many people can do that, especially a son. But I did it. That's good. And I also got her grave. And after the you. service, I buried my mother and told her there, I've done my job. I understand. And, and I, 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 I was brought up in a different generation than you young folks. You know, when I went to school, it was a two room schoolhouse. But other kids, they say, Did you see Popeye the Sailor Man and all that stuff? No, I didn't know what they were talking about. But you know, on weekend, my brother was eight and I was nine. We were up in the woods splitting sugar wood with sledgehammer and wedges, and we got paid a dollar a day. And that was in the late 60s. And that wants that far away. So I'm just telling you, some of us did work in our lifetime. And the shape I am now, I was in a severe car accident, and two other people died, and I was not in the wrong. And I didn't ask to be disabled at the age of 32 and put on Social Security like a senior citizen. Not disabled, a senior citizen, because my body was destroyed in that accident. But yet I try to help people. And I would like to think that that's exactly what everyone's members on the board are doing as well. We try to consider everyone in the town. Yeah. 
And, and I uh, I was told today, because like I said, different towns have different ways. So I was told if there's a problem with the roads, get hold of the road. Person. Then if that doesn't work out, then you get hold of the town clerk and then you come to a meeting like this. Mm -hmm. But yes, I did know how these meetings go and I did want my own section. And I did state that clear, but when I picked the papers up today, Kim told me I was in that beginning thing. Because okay. I knew most towns, even does, they have that in the beginning. Mm -hmm. yes. But then you can have your own thing. Because I see there won't much time there, and I'm going, well, you know, I have things that I want to say, there's this time limit. That's why I wanted my own thing. And I just want you to realize it that you continue to be select board me members that if a person arises with something like this that you know what's going on absolutely thank you and the reason it went on i let it go so long because of caring for my mom until the end and then after she left and i've always cared for people during my life time so after she left i was alone my wife's in a nursing home in Lindenville. And you don't know what kind of a feeling because your life comes so hot when you take care of a person. You're there 24 7, day and night. When somebody hollers or knocks on the wall, you have to be ready to go. And I, I appreciate you listening to me. And I hope my voice didn't get too loud because I know. <laughs> I am hard, hard of hearing. I, I admit that. Not vanity. I just believe old age, and I don't need no damn hearing aids. I'm going to go through life the way I am. And I have died once in 2020. And I took the trip. So I can tell you, young folks, that I don't care what religion you are, and I don't care if you're an atheist. But there is a God. And I've told people when they told me they were praying for me. I said, don't do that. I said, I went up to his kingdom. He sent me back. <laughs> and they laughed. And they said, Ronnie, your work's not done. But I just wanted to tell you that too. I've experienced a lot in my lifetime. And I feel grateful. I'm only here because of the gift of God. Because my body's pretty well gone. And he's kept me here to take care of family members. And I think now my time is done for caring for people. But this is what kind of people you have here, something in Hyde Park. We are caring people. So when things go against us, it hits us hard. And that's what I said about this whole tree incident and wait for two weeks. When you just call somebody and talk to them and say, I'm busy, I won't be able to get there for a week, at least you know somebody's listening to you. But when you don't hear nothing for two weeks, and that festers all the time, and then somebody gets out of the car, bloody, da, da, hoo -hoo, you know, that doesn't go over. I apologize. In our last well, no, I I, I, I apologize. Maybe I was, you know, Susan told me to get away from her door, and I told her I wasn't done. I had something to tell her, and she was going to listen to me. When I was done, I moved out of the way. We didn't hear any of the incidents that Susan thought it was great. Well, she said, she said, it, said it was resolved. So she I, said I, with her and Dave, she said, you were totally different. She said, when Dave and me came, you were easy going. Well, yes, because, you know, they came and worked the situation out, even though, you know, it wasn't until the following year that the pattern was done. But uh, this time, I heard nothing. So it was like, we don't really care. And then I had to point out all these things, and I took them around. They did move the limbs for me and stuff, because I said, in my physical condition, I don't do a lot. I try. You, you also, just, just so you know, 
we just got a new town administrator. Steven. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm the one who got in the letters. Yes. Yeah, so I thank the young man. Because he was there. He was he heard me talking. Of course, I'm loud anyway. When you, you happen you happen to fall in a, when we had a guy leaving. And so you have yeah. to fall in a realm of our town administrator that had left. We have a new one. Well, he took sounds like sounds like he answered anything you needed. Well, what happened was the other administrator when I had asked for those letters, the he gave me a copy of the one, and then he said, oh, I can't find the other one. So when I asked him, and then today she says, well, you know, we haven't got them yet. And this young man, he went right in there, and he come out, and he, he so, just... I had already gotten them. I didn't just go pull them out. No, <laughs> but you, <laughs> you did it, yeah. though. Yeah, we, it, we had to look a, a long time for them. We actually had to contact yeah. the old... Um, because it was, it was a while ago, but you're in yeah. plus you're new getting in here where the other person was in the job when I asked for the both letters. To his defense, he wasn't here long, he didn't make it long. No, not the <laughs> Texas guy, I'm yeah. talking oh. about bra. Oh, okay, and <laughs> see, that was the thing. I was there when FEMA came, I was right there at the end of the driveway, I was talking to people. All right, Susan was on the other side of the road, and the FEMA guy went down through. Well, Ron came in the dooryard and he was saying, well, he says, the rain, want, the water wants to come down this way. So he says, I think the best thing is we'll, we'll take half of this drive, uh, lawn. I said, oh, so you think you're going to take half of my mother's lawn? And we discussed it and then I said some things and he said, shh, I'll come tomorrow and talk to you. He never showed up. And I don't like people that lie to me. I'm sorry, but that's the way I am. When you're a kid, yes, that's all right. You lied to me, you're forgiven. Because I lied when I was a kid. <laughs> Just so my mother and my father wouldn't give me the bell. <laughs> but uh, no, otherwise, I don't, I'm don't. i straightforward. And that's the way. And so from that on, day on there, it's like, no, I, I didn't like it. Well, thank you for bringing your concerns. But yeah. now you've got, you have a new guy, and then he's gone back. Okay. Texas. Yeah, and gotta, now you've got this one. If you have concerns... Feel free to come see at the office. <laughs> I promise you. Well, yeah, I, I addressed some of his concerns. I promise you really the message will get to us. Yeah. We will. Thank you. Sir. And do you make nursing home calls too? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, I do those. That's my specialty. <laughs> well, it's nice meeting you, Thank folks. You. And I, I, and I do realize, yes, it's a hard job doing this and trying to please everybody. Because, like I said, I been to select board meetings and stuff and dealt with things and it's it is and by being a cemetery commissioner you know you always hear the bad things you never hear the good things but people from out of the town that had the family at the cemetery they always come out and said how beautiful things looked and stuff yeah. and i said well i treat the cemetery like my home there's always work to do that's right have a good evening thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Lanfear Library. What, you want to make sure there's no more? Oh, is there any more public comment? Sorry. <laughs> no, I think they're all here for agenda stuff, so I think we're good. And did, yeah. everyone, did everyone sign in? I didn't sign in because I'm leaving. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. Uh, what's your name? My name is Kim Austin Julio, and I'm here for um, the Lamp library. Okay, perfect. So, if you would come up uh, just to the microphone so we can hear you. Please. Hi, good evening. My name is Kim Austin Julio, and this is Dan Regan. And I'm the chairperson of the Board of Trustees for the Lampford Memorial Library. Mm -hmm. And we are here to request an article to be considered on okay. town meeting day um, for future trustees to be voted in by the Australian ballot. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a sample article okay. if you're interested in hearing um, that is, shall the town of Hyde Park adopt the election of library trustees by Australian ballot? Can I ask a question? Because I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, that's at, at, at town meeting. At town meeting. They're nominated and voted on at town meeting. Okay. Now, Kim, I'm going to ask you. The Australian ballot, because if you don't yeah. make the town meeting, yeah, it's, it's way it's easier. Oh, I agree. Exactly. Oh, I think it's a great. They, can, they, can they do that for this year, mm -hmm. for this town meeting? No, How does that no, work? No, it's it would be for on, on this, this town meeting 
but in I'm the agenda of this town meeting, okay. starting with the 2026 going forward, 2026. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I always find Amy about it. I okay. did tell her that um, the, the article could state starting with town meeting 2026, just adding that little verbiage in so that it clarifies. Okay. Clarifies that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And, and I might just add that the mm -hmm. trustees discussed this, and there were essentially three reasons for okay. this resolution. The first is that uh, it just will increase participation enormously in the election. We wish everyone who's voting would be at town meeting, but that's not the reality. It's not. This would increase the number of residents who vote for this by three or four four times. Yeah. Uh, also, it would place uh, library trustees alongside other elected officials of the town in the eyes of the electorate, which we think would be a good thing. And yeah. thirdly, it would conceivably give an opportunity for interested people in the town of Hyde Park to mount a writing campaign that could be enacted on the Australian ballot. Yeah. So those were essentially the reasons. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I know it's harder for people to come, unfortunately. Yeah. Do we, we do need to approve this camp? I don't think that you need a motion on it. I think that you can just agree that that's okay. what they want. Okay. And then add their warning to the, we have a draft, I have a draft, mm -hmm. um, uh, a meeting warning going. And so I can just, you know, okay. add that on there. And then as the board works with it, it'll be finalized. Okay. You know, uh, in, in January. Then they go on. Okay. And we will obviously let you know the final draft before it goes to okay. print, but I think we're, we yeah. agree a hundred percent with you. So right. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. Mark, are you on there? Yes. So, what's the road through? Did we get an award? I think Did I miss that? No, that was from VLC. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, got it, got it. Okay. Did you guys look at the all terrain ordinance again? <laughs> Can I put a little more highlight on that? Sure. So the um, just backing up a second. The Municipal Service Award, oh, okay. uh, um, BLTT Town Fair, it was given to municipal road crews throughout the state of Vermont for the recognition of how much work they've gone through, especially with the floods and how essential they are to our town's functioning and the whole state. So thank you, Hyde Park and all other road crews. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay, so the all-terrain policy, we have to approve um, Again, because there was some date issues, correct? Um, so we just need to vote on the ordinance again, right? Okay. Motion to approve with amendment one. Okay, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, abstain. Okay, perfect. What did you say exactly, Matt? Motion made to approve the amended ordinance? Yeah, uh, with yeah. amendment, yeah. With amendment, yeah, amendment yeah. one. Has amendment one. 2024, what we are, we approved the original. Okay. Is this in the packet? I don't think so. Okay. So we're, Stephen um, redid the fill policy. So just take a look at that. We can't vote on it tonight, but he had to pretty much redo the whole thing. So um, that's the, <laughs> that's the new one. So if you guys have any thoughts on that, we can let Stephen know and we'll just vote on that next meeting. Um, yeah. yeah. Just real quick on the ATV policy, did that? I know we kind of split it up to the top to the village. Is that with so they can get to two sons or is that from 15 north? So we kind of put a thing in there in the beginning for 15 north. We held off and we were going to ask. Then there was a village one too. Is that everything or is that? According to the last administrator, they were on board. The village was on board, yeah. Okay. All right. So, I'm yeah. Just questioning that. Yeah. Yep, no, it, they um, Brent met with the village and 
I was assured by the village as well that they were okay with it. Okay. But if anything arose, but they um, have Chad's, is it Chad? Yeah. Yes. His phone number. Yeah. And I think he went to the meeting as well. And okay. um, so there's some good communication going on with the village for them. Very good. Yes. Um. So the next item, I uh, did something that I wasn't supposed to. I know, I know you guys. Um, so basically Mark got a better price for salt oh. and it was lower. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay, but I wasn't supposed to just sign it without talking to you guys and I did. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, we need to talk about that and that won't happen again. Um, I learned that, but um, we now have to agree. I think the vote needs to be that they're that they agree with what I did, right? I will buy agree with what Jessica did. <laughs> I saved us money, but but what was the rate? We were at like eighty one twenty a ton, and the new rate was seventy. Mm -hmm. It would be good to just vote that. Our bill was ninety one okay. seventy five, and Compass was ninety four nineteen three your minutes. I was like, where did you pull that out of so quick? I know. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like no. That, <laughs> that, was, that was before, though. So we had Cargill and Compass. And we have a new one. So there's a new company. So we have, must be a new option came open. Yes. Matt. Yeah. Matt, that, was, that is Compass. So the, the rate we got, which we had great service with Compass, their salt quality is amazing. I had a neighbor in town call me inquiring about Compass. About would you go with them? Hands down, hundred percent, yes. But I won't go with them that ninety-four something dollars a ton. So I called the company. It's asking why is my neighbor in town so less? How are you guys doing your bids? Because you're driving them by me. Like I don't understand why you're driving by me, and I'm getting such a higher price. I just want to know how it worked. They got back, told me the next morning, well, we can do it for this. Yeah. That's where it came from was oh, compass revised their price so it's the two we dealt with but one i just didn't know why my neighbor in town had it so much less than i did and i was just inquiring how does your bid process work so we used to be per district okay and it i should... was just inquiring on that then it came back with that price so do we have to amend our vote of going with the car guild and and no um you make a motion to authorize Chathy to sign with compass effective whatever day that you signed for whatever it was. So ninety one, I think, for compass. Oh, but the date I did it, I don't know. Insert date. Yeah. Shoot. Jen's coming to the meeting late too, because she would know. We can go around that later. Oh yeah, we can when Jen's back on the call. Simple. Yep, because she'll have the details. Let's do that. Okay. Um, and I, so the union contract for the highway guys is up for review. Um, so it was a three year contract, I believe. So it's now up for the whole renewal. Yeah. Um, I've been, I haven't really liked the process in the past of how that whole thing works. So I talked a little bit with Ryan and in the, in the beginning, when they first switched to union, they, two board members and um, he and the union gentleman literally sat down, talked about it, went back and forth, and then they brought it to the board. Um, and I would kind of like to have that same process this year. Um, so I was hoping that to appoint a couple people to do that, because I obviously cannot because of conflict of interest. Um, but I was thinking you two lovely ladies might want to do that unless you had interest. I know you're super busy, so okay. So <laughs> does that mean you would like to be involved or you would not like to be involved? I mean, I'll still have a conversation at the table later. Well, I was gonna say it's this is just to kind of get the stuff done because yeah. it would be really nice if we could have that contract done before budget yeah. season I didn't like instead of after. I didn't so. like I didn't okay. appreciate it. Okay, yeah. so and you'll be working with Stephen as well. Um, Stephen will be. We just did raises, right? Well, the, yeah, mm -hmm. not these guys. This is all. This, yeah, it'll all be in the contract. So they're all. Okay, it's all so under it's union all going to be. Okay. It's it's it, it and this worth, is. It would be worth you reading the union contract. Yes, I have. I have. Okay, yeah. So you're only read the percentage because they're gonna and they're gonna come to you with a, a 
a percentage. I know, of right. Yeah. I know. And there's some changes probably, but yeah, it shouldn't be too major. So, um, but it's the opening of the contract. So we just want to make sure. And I know we've talked about some things. Yes, but mm -hmm. I would like them to send us their offer ahead of time so that we can review it and then two people can go so that we can bring our concerns to them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can do that. I okay. think too, it's going to be really interesting, you know, like mm -hmm. with negotiating a lot of contracts and like in going through boards, the past practice thing is really, really hard. Yeah. So I think it's really going to be important to go through and look at it. Some of the things that have been just past practice, like you know, well, not just that, but yeah, like past practice, like standard mm -hmm. with, and just clear those up. Because I agree. You have people come in that don't understand that those have been past practices and it's, it, they're going to be like, it's in the contract. Sorry. That's what it says. Yeah. And they're going to be a lot more stricter than people that don't understand that that's how no, it's, it's in a contract. This is what it says. Yeah. And yeah. when you have, it just, it doesn't always, yeah. you just want to clear up some of that stuff. I think so it's, if, if, if it's not important, get it out. Thankfully, exactly. We have a very good understanding between our municipal part and our this. Absolutely. So the relationship is good. So it does work. Yeah. It's when it doesn't work where what's good for the goose isn't good for the goose. Yeah. So I'm saying, but it might always not it, be that yes. way. And so if it's not important, it's like, let's get fluid. Yeah. But I'm just saying, happen. if it doesn't always, it doesn't always work that way. So yes. we don't want it to come back and, and affect them later. So we want to make sure that that language is cleared up so that it's all like. Yeah. There's some language so, in there that I think needs some updating. Just some of that stuff can get a little bit weird. But... And I feel like we had a list too. Do you, of a couple of things that we thought we would want to update when it came up for renewal. We talked about that. Yeah, but I don't, I don't listen to it, but okay. So I will reach out. Bye. Good night. So I will Gary, or, see you tomorrow. 4 30. Um, well, what's your address again? Marku Road. Off Battle Row. Um, maybe you could reach out. Um, to the union, to the union yeah, gentleman and, it down, okay. and Ryan okay. and just you know, say what we're going to do and start, let's get this process going. And yeah, uh, Jen and I uh, looked at the, the contract oh, good. That, okay. like, is yesterday. Um, she pointed out some, some things. So. Okay, great. Okay, cool. Yeah. So maybe Jen could offer some insight as well um, for that part of things. Okay, great. Well, thank you. So maybe we ask them for the draft contract and then that way we can review it. They can review it. It'd be good to Steven and, and he's probably yep. pick up one, pick up, but we can highlight it. And then they can have a meeting and yeah. hash it out. Because yeah. <laughs> it went back and, and it forth so many. I was going to say, it could take a two hour meeting here alone. So oh, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So, town administrator. So, we've been um, having some meetings regarding changing of positions and all the shifting that's been going on. Um, so, Stephen has been our acting town administrator. Um, and Ron's been helping, Justin's been helping, Kim's been helping, Jen's been, everyone's kind of stepping up and really doing amazing, keeping the town going. Um, and it feels like it's been seamless, but I mean, you guys might have other thoughts, but I feel like it's been going pretty well. Um, yeah, I, I haven't hit any bumps. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, and we're going to talk more about that later, but just so you're aware that that's what's going on. Um, do you have anything to add to that? Not really. No, it's made, yeah. it, it makes me happy because like two years ago, if you remember, I was really worried about uh, that third position and it's back to where I think that it needed to be. So, well, we're still kind of in limbo and where this is kind of like a trial thing that we're doing, but you know, it's like our town is just in the middle. Yeah. It's like, yeah. We're it's, too hard to, it's hard to carry both those salaries and I think that sometimes you get someone like Steve who understands it it makes it a lot more right fluent than someone who doesn't or the training processor exactly you know, who can't work with the town clerk and the whole group and just yeah nice. yeah so okay Sarah Henshaw oh, come on up Oops. hello Hi. 
did bring another copy of our community report in case I, I couldn't remember what it is. So this is because yeah. there might be a presentation, I can't remember what I yeah. Oh, yeah, there's okay. Sorry, I thought there was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. yeah. okay, so yeah. I just got it too, but this is more of a courtesy talk. Okay. Um, and just kind of inf information, um, allowing you to ask questions. My name is Sarah Henshaw. I'm the coordinator of what's known as the Lamoille Area Recovery Network. We are affectionately known as LEARN. Um, we are the long term recovery group for the county of um, Lamoille. We were formed out of the floods in 2023 um, and have stayed around and kind of helped um, since. And we're now currently thinking about kind of what next steps are. Um, the intent of the organization, the purpose of the organization is really to provide support to folks who have been affected by natural disasters or emergency situations um, that have unmet needs. And what that kind of means is folks that don't have either are underinsured, uninsured, um, don't don't get enough from FEMA or can't get anything from FEMA, or if it's an undeclared disaster, you know, FEMA isn't here, um, or folks that don't have like financial savings or tapping into like retirement. We really don't want people to go financially downhill just because of a, a natural disaster. Um, we talk about having kind of two pot, two ways that we help folks. One side is financial. Um, the United Way of Lamoille County has helped us um, raise funds. So we have a community fund that we um, are, we manage and uh, allows us to give kind of immediate assistance mm -hmm. to folks or give kind of longer term assistance. Um, we also can match folks or sit with folks to go through those app, all those amazing applications. <laughs> you know, any public assistance applications are incredibly impossible. So we do sit with folks and help them fill out that information and match them with the sources. We also then have what we're calling non-financial. So we have um, a flood we don't have any names for these yet. We're making it as on the fly, but kind of a flood recovery lending library. So we have dehumidifiers, fans, um, sump pumps, um, stuff of that nature that we can lend out to folks. Then we take them back and we can lend it out again. Um, we also have a whole bunch of recovery, um, flood recovery uh, and cleanup kits and you know sources of, of supplies. Um, and then we do have a whole bunch of kind of training programs and webinars that we do for folks around the county. I'm here just because I want to make sure folks are aware of us. Um, we are not a, we're, we are, we sit under the United Way of Lamont County, so we're not government, we're not associated with FEMA, so people really hate people who are not associated with them. Um, we're not associated with the state government. Um, we are, you know, a group of nonprofit um, professionals from the county that have come together and formed this group. Um, so, you know, in Hyde Park, you guys weren't as affected, so it's probably, that's probably the reason I wanted to come because I don't want you, I want you to know that we're here. <laughs> If and when, and hopefully you'll never see me again. Yeah, um, right. Yes. Yeah, it's like um, the one person we don't want yeah, to see. Don't yeah. Want <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, right, Nicole. Nicole. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, um, but yeah, so we, you know, we've been meeting with all the celebrities around just to kind of make sure you're aware of us. Um, we at one point had kind of a connection so that we send out information to the towns. Um, so you can put on your website or, you know, like resources that we send out to the community. So we'll, um, we would love to do that in Hyde Park as well, um, especially since we're going to start in 2025, kind of a training series for like community preparedness and, you know, community conversations with emergency managers, stuff like that, just so folks can, you know, kind of be aware of different um, resources and ways to be prepared for the next disaster. We've been very flood focused only because right. that's what's been happening mm -hmm. but we are thinking about other you know kind of what else is out there winter storm is coming it, it's i'm good. excited for that that <laughs> but we do have the 10 beds area that often the flood yeah. it does yes, yes. no absolutely like to make sure that we have the information and i am going to admit it mm -hmm. i didn't know about i mean yeah i'm going to admit i did know but that's just because you of know, your we, job we, we, sure <laughs> because we I know each other did you savannah <laughs> But it would also, it would be Oops. good. For, I know. I, I can't believe you didn't know. I know. Right. Let's talk about this. Did you know? I thought it was Trump or Pepper. I did too. Yeah, yeah. we learned that that was a poor choice in our name. Yes. So we appreciate nope. you for the few times. I don't know if it existed. But it would probably be good for it to be in like our, the maybe in our newsletter. And in, in our newsletter. And, newsletter. newsletter. and, and yeah, we can put you in our newsletter. Commission. Yeah. We can probably figure out where to go on the planning commission if uh, like in that. Area too. It could probably go somewhere in that. Sure. Um, yeah. 
we can help get your yeah, name. Yeah, that would be amazing. Like, and the, the reason I included this mm -hmm. is because at the bottom, I can't see anything. At the bottom, like the services and support, if you yeah. can cut and paste that piece onto like wherever, that's like a really just simple, straightforward. Okay. Um, and then, you know, the information way at the bottom has my phone number and email. Okay. Um, and that, you know, you can direct support and services. So perfect. Um, yeah. So I just, you know, wanted to make sure there are a couple things that, you know, just to be a little, that are a little bit funky about Hyde Park. There is one house, I think, that's in the buyout program mm -hmm. um, and that I've been in contact with him. Um, and just kind of helping him navigate some of that. Okay. Um, and there's two households that are on the fence of, of accepting support from us for some of the flood damage. And so we, you know, we have respectfully said, you know, when, you, when, it, when you're, you're ready, ready like okay. come to us and we are happy to, but you know, so there are a couple of things okay. that are happening that Good. You know, we're aware of. Um, okay. If there's other things like that, if there's other households that come with like a request for buyouts, we obviously don't, that's all through you guys, but right. we do help. Um, you know, like for the town of Johnson, we have to help do all the applications so you guys don't have to, Okay. Um, you know, and we have connections with the state. So you, we can kind of take some of that off the plate to the towns. Um, okay. So, yeah, just, I don't know if there's any questions, Great. suggestions. No, but you're giving me a lot of ideas. The houses that did get bought up by FEMA, mm -hmm. what was the termination of those? Do we know? Like, like we had one. We, we had one, and it's still in process. Oh no, we we actually had there's three oh, that yeah. we were seeking. Um, you know where um, 100 and 100 the, C come yeah, together. The brownfield, right? I mean, we bought those. We bought one of them. On well, the other guy, I think he declined yeah. the offer. He yeah, the he offers, declined the offer. Okay. Yeah, we actually, yeah, um, it was two weeks ago yesterday that we uh, we closed on Friday. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, Friday that we closed on the. Uh, the one on uh, 100. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the other one. Uh, it's complicated. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm what happened, and I, I do agree with him, the appraisal was low, but that's the only way the value is determined is by um, the appraisal. And it really was Larry's fault because they couldn't, she couldn't get to the majority of the, the property. And, um, and I told him, so, you know, if you clean this up, you can get another appraisal done. He went to town for about a week, and then he pretty much stopped. And oh yeah, I saw they were complaining. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you know, if he if he gets it squared away, I mean, the majority of value of that place is the shop on the end. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's it's two stories, and you couldn't even get to the upstairs. So you know, the appraiser just she just she was not kind. <laughs> <laughs> And I I agree with I wouldn't sell it for for what the appraisal came in. Right. So great, yeah. And we'll add this because we have a, a community, you know, Hyde Park newsletter. So we'll yeah, definitely, be, you know, put your information out there. So that'd be amazing. If you'd like, um, you can either submit something specific. I can uh -huh. just copy and paste it in there, do a little bit of formatting, or I can kind of do it myself. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy to. I don't, I'm, I'm, we're, part of our philosophy is we want to take stuff off the towns. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. If not, I'll reach out and, and say, okay, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'd be awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Well, thank you for coming yeah. in. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys do. Thank I you. I don't think we're going to be able to get over that 1% threshold, though. I don't care either. But yes. You want to talk about Mer? <laughs> Your favorite thing? The Merp girl. The Merp girl. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. So um, Friday is the uh, award notification release. It was supposed to be last Friday, which is why. I'm oh, here. bummer. But um, we still could use, this is verbatim from LCPC, so I got to read it. Okay. Would still be good to get authorization. Okay, not right in this. Oh wait, always oh, got to plug in. Um, we're just this is antis <laughs> in anticipation of receiving the award. On okay, this Friday, um, we need approval to accept it. Oh, okay. But it doesn't cost you any money, so I don't know why you would. Okay. Even need authorization but um we have to get authorization to accept a grant award 
and sign and return necessary documents if possible. And then we have to pick a town staff person to sign it. So I'll make a motion for staff to sign that. Or, uh, um, and, and approval. But the town are staff, you, like right, are you on like Jennifer. I think, or, yeah, I think it would have to be Jen. As long as it's not costing us any money, right? It's not costing you any money. Okay, so I'll make that motion to approve Jen to assign. The well, let me let me back money. out of that. Okay, so like we're gonna like there's no match to the right. grant. No, it's, okay. there's no town match. That's there's no right. town match yeah. to the grant, but. Yeah. Like there's a lot of construction happening, you know, with these funds and one in this building in particular, um, you know, like they're going to give, I can't remember all the amounts, but they're going to give us several thousand dollars to do stuff here. But if they didn't give us like the money to put the compressor in, then we're going to have to build, you know, so yeah. there is a chance that it might cost something, but, you know, we're talking maybe like what ten thousand dollars or something like that, like as opposed to how much we would get, like four hundred thousand. What are you hoping for? Um, I think it was close to four hundred. Okay, I thought so. Um, it was a little three eighty or something. Like that. Okay. Uh, the one that was confusing was the fire department because mm -hmm. it's new construction and they don't really um fund new construction, but. Because the bathroom was not the fire department here, the, not the north one, but yeah. um, is not ADA compliant exactly. at the moment. Right. Um, we felt like we had a good case for that. And so what we did was we put in, because um, they don't fund new construction. So we've, we said, well, we're just renovating this part of the building, which we really are. Mm -hmm. Um and we didn't put in for like the new construction because it doesn't cover that. But if we do these ADA bathroom, you won't have room for anything else. So you have to do the new construction. Right. So one of the things that I think um, you talked about the fire department last time, right? Yeah. And I yeah. Yeah. had another meeting or something. I couldn't come. But we need to get like RFP. And like we, if we want to take advantage of the money that they're giving us right. for this bathroom, we need to get the whole project happening uh, on their time frame. And I think we have not to the end of next year, but the year after. Too. Yeah, Ryan so, did mention and that. We talked about putting it on, on the ballot. Yeah, That's yeah, a, yeah. Big yeah, yeah. And with this, you know, I, I'm not sure. I, I think they're going to give us like I don't know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars for the fire department. So it'll make it less that, you know, that you have to do for it. So I am requesting authorization. Do you want to write this out? Um, <laughs> to accept a grant award from uh, the state of Vermont for the Municipal Energy Resilience Program if we receive the grant. And... I need the board to grant Jennifer the Jennifer's finance name? director. Uh, to, I don't know. I'm not Jennifer, our yeah. finance director, Offline. to yeah. sign the authority to have um, a signature authority. Um, I'll make the motion for Jen to sign it if the grant gets approved. When? Yeah. when? Yeah. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, there's a, the reason that we're asking for that is because it's it. It, we have to turn it yeah. around in November. Sure. And I don't know if we do this a lot. Yeah. 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 That's why I was about to say I'll make the motion. But Can make you sure you tell us. Oh yeah, well, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second that. Okay. Any of the ones that are no yeah. match are great. Right. Give us money. Perfect. And, um, <laughs> that okay. comes from your heart. Thank you. He's come to be on the DRB. I'm on the DRB. He should be on the DRB with us. So I I approve. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the energy committee together. Oh, perfect. Yes, I know. So all those in favor? Okay. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. Nicole seconded? No, no. Savannah. Savannah. Um, do you mind if we pause for one second? No. I just need to get my charger and mark it back online, have something to bring up with him before we go on to the next thing. Okay. We have a water well here. I thought you said yeah. wine. It's way in the back. What's in that candy dish? Um, this is the uh, you're gonna you're probably not gonna make it in time. So this is the uh, 
the code. Oh, the door. There's no oh. chocolate. Oh, there is upstairs. Usually Justin's way better. That's he's he's slacking. <laughs> yeah, you gotta find um Kristen Chris Dash. She's the one that does the camera. It's usually me at my office. Did we lose Rick and Ron? Is that uh, they're back? But did so, um, Ron took off for a second? Oh, 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 oh. That was done until I told him actually. Um, I think that one too, ten to one, but like two hundred. But yeah, it's really good. I'm ready. Yeah, but all right now, oh yeah. So I don't. When they the favorite from well, if I want to hear that, we don't know about it after I have a teeth and then I'm like, well, damn solo. Damn solo. Damn solo. Can we go? Yep. Okay. So um, we're starting again. My addition was a St. George Road assistance. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bad ruler. I know. <laughs> um, so the town of St. George, we are involved with them through the interlocal agreement. I work for them as a assessor. Um, they have about three miles of roads and they don't have a road commissioner. Uh, I was talking with Mark about we have, as of right now, there are two road signs that need to be installed in St. George. The St. George Select Board wants someone who is insured in some way and is requesting assistance with this. Um, not necessarily from Hyde Park. I went to Mark personally and we discussed. Um, so question is, if the Select Board would allow Mark to work in St. George, as a Hyde Park employee for reimbursement, um, have to look into some legalities of that. Okay. And also using their equipment that he, I guess there's a coach founder. Yep. So paying me on that <laughs> would be great <laughs> or not. But yeah, if they can use that sharing. Okay. So this would be. Yeah, we probably would need to figure out legality and insurance and that kind of thing for him to work there. Yeah, but I don't know if it'd be as simple as like hourly wage and mileage, and then if it's overtime, just bill all the St. George pending insurance yep. type of thing, or if it's something more that you'd want to do with that. Yeah. What? You're cringing. Well, I'm over here going, where's St. George? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, by Hi by Williston. Yeah, yeah, in between in between Williston and Heinsberg. Okay. There's like three miles of road, literally, that's St. George. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just laughing because I, I, I have a little bit of hesitation. In, okay. we, we have enough work here in our own town. Um, that's something that I think St. George could probably get contracted out for pretty cheap from Lafayette. Lafayette. That's the place in Essex, right? No. No. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, give me some ideas. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. FR Lafayette does signs and signs mm -hmm. installed. Mark, was that the place that you told me to call that I called or is that a different one? Oh, I don't think we have Mark. Uh, we have we have speed limit signs. There are people in this town have been awful touchy about not having the speed limit sign installed. Yeah. I'm not so sure that we even have those installed here yet. So and we don't. I would I would have a little bit of reservation sending. Mark, Valid. An hour away mm -hmm. to go and install signs for another town that we haven't completed work with in our own town. That's a valid. That's a very yeah. valid statement. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It would be. I love to help other towns, and I love the local agreements. Yeah. I don't even like sharing you, but it's okay. We share you. <laughs> <laughs> it would. I believe it beyond his day off. Okay. So the overtime by here about okay. Yep. That is better, but. I would highly suggest them to just call that part of because it would be way cheaper in the long run. Nah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I was going to go down on a Friday when we weren't working to help Justin out. Yeah. That was my deal. Was I was going to Justin works Fridays. We're not working Fridays yet. That's what my deal was. I was going to go down on a Friday and help him. I guess I'm okay with that. I mean, I just, 
but I'm going to be switching pretty soon. So they be, everybody be figuring out what's going on because we're going to be switching soon. But so if he, we weren't working Fridays and he worked in there on Fridays, I don't know where the roads are. So I don't know where I'm going to put up the sign. I'd be willing to help him, but it was going to be on a Friday when we weren't working. Good for you for being on our St. George's. Does he get paid hourly or so? Yeah. Everybody knows where St. George is. So with this, you know, if we're paying him and getting reimbursed, if he's on overtime. Right, that's the uh, that was my question. Is, yeah, it's going to trigger overtime. overtime. Way cheaper for them to go to the FRLAP. Yeah, they're going to charge like $130 a time. I called someone. I called you, Mark. Lafayette, Lafayette's in Essex. You called Lafayette. They're in Essex. They're on Keller Road. Okay. Uh, yeah, I called. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Bill Ford. That he called. I called who who told me to call, and they said they couldn't get to it until December, and it'd be six hundred dollars to install. So. Hi. I bet you Mark's gonna talk to that one. Because yeah, because we're also going to have to get do the um, the unemployment insurance, Medicaid, and all. It's not just the hourly wage; it's all the contributions mm -hmm. that we're going to do on top of it. And I think then it's going to trigger um, mileage. You're going to have everything. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a, it'll cost you that much. By the yeah. time you pay, charge out our post pounder, I can tell you that what yeah. we do for a living is not what we do for a living. But yeah. then there might be liability if Mark comes and dungeon at the wrong distance or mm -hmm. the dig safe there. Hindsburg does have buried fiber. I think I would just yeah, and he's still the the uh, town of Hyde Park employee doing Correct. it. So it's called vicarious liability. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I know. I tried. You no, tried. you did. It. Good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, L and D safety markings also have sign and stuff. Ron, are you sleeping? I am splitting time with another meeting, so I had to jump over to you guys. Okay. Right. Do you want to go now, or do you want to come back? Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay. So, okay. What's the question? Well, it's just we're just wondering about an update. Do you have anything for us for grants? Yeah, it's more about communication. Um, we do, and we'll continue to do the grants report update just to give you any next steps that have changed or closeouts or what, you know, that, that two or three pager that I sent out before. Yep. Uh, the question I had was specific to uh, too much information, not enough information, need, need, need it presented in a different way. Just, you know, from a board member perspective, is that, adequate for what you need to know about the grant projects or is there some other format i i'm referring specifically to uh sort of a written up paragraph report that brent did a couple times before he left which was just like a uh, hey by the way we met with so and so last week and we you know did this and now we're going to go do that and that it, which is a different type of report than the sort of the summary report so I didn't know what you all were thinking. We can, I can do either keep up with the same kind of format or do both, you know, depending on how much information you think you need on the uh, grant projects. I like this format better than the paragraphs. I do too. This is nice. Yeah, was, exactly. Yeah. And you, and I think to go along with that, if anybody has uh, a particular, I don't understand this note, you know, shoot me an email or call me, you know, I can probably elaborate a little bit more if it's, okay. I'm not saying I get all those little notes exactly clear, but I only have so much space, you know? Yeah. So yeah, we, if, if, if there's a need for more, let me know. Otherwise we'll continue and um, send those to Justin so you can get them out. Perfect. Yeah. I appreciate that. And otherwise the projects are, you know, it's it's sort of difficult, and and this is something that uh, Chastity referred to before, when the town's in transition, uh, staffing wise and title wise, the projects are not necessarily in transition. They're all moving in a in a certain direction. So when you have a, a change of authorized town rep, or you have a change of a point of contact, or mm -hmm. um, you're you're trying to figure out who's going to manage a project. All of those decisions have to be updated within the project's documents. 
So, you know, there's all sorts of certifications on all, you know, we got about 20 projects or whatever the number is now. All of those have certifications and authorizations, just like you did with uh, Elisa earlier. You know, that's going to be a approved representation for her to do something. So all of those are in place for all of the projects right now. So as Chastity and the, and the town administrator discussions continue, uh, the sooner that we can resolve those authorizations and titles, you know, of positions, the better. So we can start to update all those documents going forward. Uh, just to let you know that's kind of happening behind the scenes, but um, we do need to get sooner than later get that resolved, which I which I think we are working pretty quickly with the with the town staff on. Okay, great. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I kind of skipped over the town the kennel. We really don't have much of an update right now. Oh, look at me. I know. Yeah. I skipped over it. I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> I didn't want to listen I'll, to Matt. I'll save you. <laughs> like this. Yeah. The, the new... Can we get it to Johnson ASAP? Yeah. Okay. okay. I thought you were, were actually talking with the Johnson guy. No, no I, he came, we met with him. He came yeah. here and yeah. told me his thoughts and concerns and... This is um, the Johnson County guy, or this is the Johnson Select Board that you're talking about? The town administrator. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, and then you were redoing it, and, or that was the day that I went upstairs and you said I would take this on, and so here we are, and I'd like to get him on board. Yeah, them on board. yeah. and I spoke with, um, uh, there's a new town administrator in Walcott, yeah. and um, she was very confused by the uh, the agreement that she signed. Okay. Um, I forwarded this the the new one, the new version to her, um, and I think she's actually going to sign this one over the other one. So we're just doing the addendum that this would replace it. Oh, good. And okay. As soon as like everybody's contracts over, like if we can't have them sign all new ones, but yes, say the same thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing, a lot of the issues that Johnson had, I think these other folks did too. Yeah. So they, they like this one better. Yeah. Um, and it, the gist of this one is it keeps all the uh, the onus on the, the, the town. Mm -hmm. If Johnson ACO brings the, the dog in, he's responsible or, she, or she's responsible for that dog for everything. Mm -hmm. um, the, the agreement that was done um, we really ended up with a lot of responsibility. Um, so this pushes it back on. So that all we are is basically is subletting them a spot, yeah. you know, two dedicated kennels or whatever. And uh, yeah, this one. Did I read, uh, I had a thought and then I, where they only get two kennels. Like if they brought a third dog, they can't use a spot, right? Or they've got a... Well, yeah, see, th this is the, just the inner local. I'm working on a whole broad. Okay. I mean, I I've been very critical of the way it was set up. Um, I think everybody had good intentions, um, but it just really wasn't pulled off right. Um, it was right. done, you know, it was a Chinese fire drill, um, and uh, everybody just you know, did all this stuff in a really short amount of time. Uh, I think it definitely needs to be restructured. Um, one of the things that in the, th these are just like, you know, town by town contracts, but I want to do, I'm doing an overall agreement where, um, you know, we have 13 kennels. So if, um, you know, if we'll cut all of a sudden, oh yeah, we got four dogs. Um, they only have two dedicated uh, spots. If there's the spaces available, they should be able to bring the four dogs in. It's stupid to turn them away to say, oh no, you can't bring them in. We have to keep these kennels empty. Yeah, there's six other ones too, but no, we got to keep them empty. Yep. So um, that's one of the things that, you know, it's beneficial to them. So if they go over, um, and the only caveat is uh, put in there is that if, um, you know, if we're maxed out, and then you have to uh, you have to take your dog out in preference of the, the person who has the reservation. Oh, right. But sure. I've also yeah. I've been working with the uh, the kennel owner to see about um, overflow because, um, like, after the ten days, um, basically the town would would have possession of the dog. 
at that point, then they could um, push it over to the kennel side. So I'm trying to work with the kennel to see if, okay, so if we're maxed out, we got dogs coming in, okay, the ones that have already aged out, can we just push them over to the kennel side? And it'll probably be a more expensive fee, but you know, if you got four dogs and you, you got to do something with them, like, right. you know, $50 a day is better than uh, keeping them in your living room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the other question I have is, is uh, Elmore was one that stuck out, but they want, they said they get like one dog a year and they didn't want to sign a full contract, but is there mm -hmm. thoughts of, because we had talked, I think last meeting about the one-offs. The one-offs. Yeah. Um, I think we, we could talk about that in an executive session and I'll explain why. Yeah. 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 Great. So we, we have to like take this or we're just good with this and we have to agree on it or we can just send it to Johnson and we're good. Uh, we, we probably yeah, should. We should. Yes. So Savannah, if you're motion to okay. adopt this, the new interlocal agreement for the animal shelter. Great. Second. From there. I would say animal community. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I was trying to think of uh, like an official name. I mean, technically, it's the Hyde Park Impound. Um, I think that there's so rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. The uh, and I think um, there's some confusion. I think with some people and in towns that it was a humane society, but it's not. Oh no. It's not. We it's our impound, and we're extending them the courtesy of using you know a, a couple of our cats to solve their statutory requirements for uh, us. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, I'll second Savannah's motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed, abstained. Are you saying aye? <laughs> We love you, Matt. <laughs> Oppose. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, the DRB vacancy. Finally, would you like to come up and introduce yourselves? My name's Robert Tina. Hey. I live at 112 Twin Meadows Drive. And uh, I have a fair amount of experience with building subdivisions, um, utilities, infrastructure. So I saw a vacancy on the DRB and and I figured I could maybe help with the town out. And we highly appreciate that. Um, it's not we're not really fortunate to have people just jump at all these vacancies. So, um, I say we. I want to lift up to joining me the DRB uh, DRB board. Uh, so we'll oh, what? Like, yeah, like, that's the thing. Oh, term. <laughs> Looking up, I think it's the remainder for expiring twenty twenty eight. For term expiring. Okay, wait. Whoops. Yeah, it is expiring in twenty twenty eight. Okay, so. Filling the term <laughs> expiring in 2028. Yes. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. Not second. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All those in favor, by saying aye. Uh -huh. Opposed. Abstain. Thank you. Awesome. Well, Welcome. Thank you we again. Have, we have one uh, this Thursday. I don't know if you're interested in jumping yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to be here at uh, six o'clock in this the same okay. room. Thank, Thank you, sir. You Thank you very much. Yeah. So I also have Julie um oh, Riley. That's so, yeah. yeah. So she we guys, there's another one. Guys, there's another one interested. Hey. One interested? Yes, in the DRB position. Yeah. <laughs> um so, and, yeah. and we should fill both. Well, we have what is the it's, spots we have? Well, they're, they're, um, you can have between five and nine. Yeah. Okay. So always an odd number, though, right? 
Uh, no, it doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, but we have two interested, and I think we should accept both. If you guys yeah, are. But she's going to. I was going to recommend if she has like a something for Stephen to read, like a letter of interest or whatever. Uh -huh. we yeah. Could do. Yeah, to, to be honest, I just, I've been, I uh, explained, I've been communicating with her, I explained the job, and uh, Julie Riley, she actually um, expre uh, expressed interest uh, quite a while ago, yeah. a couple, three weeks ago, and uh, so yeah, I explained to her the job, and, well, well you know, the, uh, not the job, but I guess the, uh, cool. the appointment, yeah, and she was fine with that, and she said she wanted to to join. Yeah, anything official from her that just says she has interest. We've had people that just sent him a letter. Yeah, I mean that's all. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, I can uh, pull the email up where she said that. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. okay. I'll put out there. I'm not sure what the term okay. would be. Uh, yeah. Hello, I'm interested to know more about the details and needs of the development review, review board position vacancy. Uh, Julie Riley, um, I gave her a description. And uh, good morning. Thank you for this information. I'd like to move forward the select board for consideration. Perfect. But we don't know the term. No. Um, Why can't we just end the term in 2028? Because yeah. we have. Two and twenty-five, one twenty-six, one twenty-seven, one twenty-eight. So I think just keep them staggered. Or we'll Wait, how many? Or, or two-year term. Yeah, two-year yeah. term. Yeah. Two -year I term. think it's yeah. Just when I, whenever they come on, I think they were just yeah. doing a two-year. Two -year. Mm -hmm. They were four year. Yeah, they're four. Four. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. four. All four sounds four. great. So I guess. Yes. Okay. Well, we, well, we can stagger with the two of them. Is there anything that says we can't? Or is it in our well, policy? I, it's not that it, policy, I think, is probably in their, I think, and Ron will correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's in their bylaw. Oh, probably. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But isn't that weird? So wait, can you tell me what the ones are on there now, Justin? Uh, two for 25, one for 26, one for 27, one for 28. I'm guessing that they were just appointed and then they had the term is the same for everybody. It's just, you know, four years. So it would be four years from now? Yes, from 2024. It's so probably 2028. As Matt said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, yeah, Mary is the one who resigned and that was just in, um, uh, she was, um, I think in April, March or April, she was, um, re reappointed Mark Mary Walsh. Oh, yeah, she was not. Yeah, that's what the vacancy is from. Okay, uh, except so we all resigned besides Mary. Nobody, no, we're just so filling another I, spot. I, 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 yep, they have nine spots. Um, they've never had it, they never, they don't have that. So, there's four people at a vacancy on the and this is for the DRB, right? Correct. There's four people and a vacancy on the town website. So the vacancy is Mary? Yes. Right. And we just filled it with Bob. Oh, well, yeah. That's Bob so right. that is, yeah. she would have been appointed, like you said, at, at town meeting or after the, the first you know meeting after town meeting because her term expired in 28. So that's who he would be filling. Yep. Now, who's the other one? Another woman Julie that's interested, Riley. Julie Riley. Another vacancy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can and we can have between up to nine. The the their bylaws say between five and nine. So there's two expiring in twenty five, one in twenty six, one in twenty seven, one in twenty eight. So you can have one expire in twenty seven or twenty eight or yeah. 27 or 28, because then that's four years, yeah. three or four years. Um, I make the motion to, do, to accept Julie's want to go on the DRB board, and I say for 20, expire 2028. Second? I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Okay. The R, I hate Tom Riley. Uh, awesome. I think it's R. Or why? So Lamoil Fiber Communications Rep. We haven't had anybody interested. I guess I don't want to see how much they do inside. Um, Wait, they oversee all of the fiber net for Lamoil Valley. 
So then they they they, they basically lease out. Double the check my email tonight. To like, so mean? make sure that so like Fiverr and Fidium, they just put all this stuff out through Fidium and then put the contracts out to make sure that Fidium is a price gouging essentially pretty much what I get out of what they do. I don't understand Fidium because why is my price when I price it cheaper than my sister two miles from her? I don't understand that. Why does she get charged twenty dollars more than I do? For her rate. <laughs> Sense. There's two different. It's the same thing, though. It's the same package. package. Oh, one's faster than the other. Yeah, no, we, we priced it the same package, and hers is, they're charging her $20 more. So, what, what the gentleman was saying is, yeah, major, to me anyway, he said that as long as he um, and um, Earl Fano have been on the committee, the fiber committee, um, it was more logistic type thing, getting fiber in town, getting the contracts, the overseeing all of all of getting it in place. It's going to be changing from that infrastructure piece to more management. Right. Of Making sure they keep up their end of the deal, right? Deal and billing and the, you know, yeah. all this other stuff. So there that's kind of the difference and they've been on it from the beginning and they're just ready to step down and we put it in the paper, I mm -hmm. think. And on Town and website and Robert Forum and Facebook page and no thing. Know, like the cemetery, nobody has stepped forward to fill, you know, those vacancies. It is a little about the county too, right? Not High Park. It's yeah, these are reps from High Park in each town. Each has town has reps. Fill this out there and say that I don't think you need to be the problem. As in, I don't like it's a, if someone says forum wants to do it, sure. But I don't think we need to really turn into like the dog kennel where we have someone who decides they're working really hard on it and then next thing you know they're in here looking for a salary because they're working so diligent on it. If, I'd love that if someone's going to step up. Let's well, we already it. have representatives from Hyde Park on it. We do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're yeah, they're they're stepping. Stepping. That, yeah. Right, right. They're stepping back. Correct. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. The, but is there still a committee? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I don't think that it's. A town committee, yeah, it's like it's the bigger, right? The loyal fight. So, we now. just wouldn't have we might not we might go a gap without high Hi, without having a rep. High park representative. Okay, so I guess let's not throw it in the paper because that costs money, but maybe we could just continue to throw it on front porch forum and Facebook again and just keep trying. Maybe stick it in the newsletter. Sound good? Um. Christine, would you like to go now so you don't have to keep sitting here? Sure. Oh, it's very exciting. <laughs> I know that we're a lot of fun, but. Hi, uh, my name is Christine Cooney. Yes. I'm here from the by Fire Cemetery Cluster. Uh, we were recently informed, well, not recently informed of ARPA funding to do some improvement for the cemeteries. Uh, initially, we wanted to get some landscapers in there and fill in all spots in the village cemetery because it's kind of self settled over the years and it's a little messy. But uh, I contacted like five companies and not one was interested. So we switched to putting up fencing in Jedediah, which is right up behind us. And I have some bids from two companies. One declined when you think about it. Really? My goodness. So it's hard. <laughs> so I did not make enough copies, but that's okay. We can share two sure. bids in a map. Oh, Round Hill, Round Hill, and Mansfield fence. We've used Round Hill fencing in the past, and they gave us a very good price. Um, I wrote yeah, on the map the exact footage that went up there with the chain chainlink. Same thing as what's already up there, and it's like not the cheapest, not the most expensive, just middle of the road. He said it would last quite a while, um, and I believe they said they could do it before December. Jen, I see this is uh, this was already in our original ARPA, right? I just want to make sure I'm reading it right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, twenty thousand. Cool. At the end of summer. Cool. Yeah. I just want to make sure I was reading that right. And didn't make any assumptions because you know 20, I did that once. Yeah. <laughs> the twenty thousand was allocated. Correct. How much are bids or bid? Twelve thousand eight hundred and eighteen thousand to twenty two thousand. That's the 
And I would throw out back to Round Hill, which is who I want to do it. I say, go up to $20,000, however many feet we can get. But don't go over. Yeah, but I can't, I don't think we can do that with us. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, but. Well, yeah, but. Our is weird. Yeah. No, we can't, we can't ask our, we can, she can tell him to do this. We couldn't approve up to a certain amount. I'm not going to wear it. So could I go back to Round Hill and say, okay, um, what what can I get for twenty thousand dollars, not to exceed twenty thousand? I don't yes. think that's what. Okay. Yeah. We've, already, we've already allocated that. Yeah. Jen, that right? Yeah. Jen is on. Jen, isn't there weird with ARPA funds and what you need? You guys have to obligate the funds, right? And yeah, we need right. to spend it before December thirty first. Right. So you just have to spend it before December, or does the work have to be completed by then also? Trick question. Um, yeah. Preferably yeah. it's done, yeah. but... I can give them the money so I do the work. Okay. Yeah. You want one day for a service they haven't done. Okay. Are you thinking about having an extended OIT? So the height of the light there is, is this where you're going to put more? Okay. Yes. So right now it just kind of ends, and we, the objective of the fence, I don't know if it's a state mandate or something, why? There's fencing, but it's mostly cars from driving on the areas where the um, plots are being sold. So you guys are signing out out here for the old yes. policy of this? Uh, I don't think we're quite that far out there, but if in the future, that's where everything will be. Uh, to clarify, the 12,800 bid, was that withdrawn? No. No, so that's- Round Hill that's fence. Gonna, that's Round Hill. And then the 18 to 22,000 is- Mansfield Fence Company. Okay. And so we're considering Round Hill to go up to 20,000. Mm -hmm. If I could do that, yeah. yes. If I can yeah. do that. Okay, because the 12,800 doesn't do everything that you'd want it to do. Well, I kind of gave him a ballpark because I didn't have exact footage and his price came in so low. I say, okay, if I can get 600 feet for 20,000, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, so you, you just, just kind of guess. Yep. Yeah. Which is about what you're going to get. Yeah. You think about 650. Yep. That sounds, I mean, yeah. why not? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Well, then, then so, you so technically, we don't have to approve this. You you can make it. So you can. Uh, make, let's ask Jen. I thought I had to come here and get the okay. I think she did. Because yeah, we had to kind of. We have to obligate. What, Jen? You have to obligate the money. Yeah, we had put it in our list, but we hadn't officially obligated it to her because they hadn't come with us and the anything yet. The money's yet. there then, right? What's that? We have the money in the ARPA fund still, right? Because we yeah. allocated it. Correct. It's been like a possible ab um, obligation, so. Yeah. It's there. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we need an action yeah. item. Yeah, let's give them to Justin, then he can, so he can make sure they're in the minutes, right? Sorry? No, I think it's all right. So, can I have a motion for Christine, please? Allow the cemetery to, do we need the name of the company too? What is the name of the company? Round Hill Fence. Round Hill Fence, up to $20,000. Using the using ARPA. the ARPA funds to put fence around Jedediah Cemetery. Perfect. Second. Second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Abstained. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Have a good night. Unless you want to keep hanging out, of course. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. Okay, what do we want to move to? I'm like, we do want to go back up. Yeah. So that was something to. Um, I need Jen's input. Oh, the date you signed the result bit. So we can have that motion. Jen, do you happen to remember or know the date that I signed that salt bid? Uh, I have to look in my email to see when I sent it.
Does someone want to approve the minutes while we're waiting? Uh, so I don't make the motion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to get stuff done. September 24th, meeting minutes. I appreciate that. And I want to hold off okay. on October 10th ones for a second. Okay. I'll move 24th. Second? I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor, signify right. by saying no. Right. Opposed, abstain. Okay. Wait. Chastity. Yeah. You signed the SALT contract on October 3rd. October 3rd. Back up here. So we're going to... The revised. The, the revised contract. SALT contract. I am very sorry about that. I didn't realize I was being... doing something wrong. You're saving the money. I was, but... Yeah. You have to don't done anything. It's like, oh, God. Um, motion to authorize Chastity. They are. They are. I was like, I've. It's mm -hmm. okay. To it's sign okay. the revised salt contract with Compass Minerals for $91 per ton, effective October 3rd, 2024. Yep. Do I have a. Oh. I, I feel like you should put that in at a, at a reduced rate from previous. Just so that people understand why. As a reduced. Yeah, thank you. From the previous voted quote. So Right. Okay, and Savannah, you that motion? Yep. Second. Matt, I think you did Okay. All those in favor? So you have to say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Thank you, guys. Are you good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I'm good. Okay, okay. Um, so the town office space, I'm glad you're in here too. Um, the town office space has been a big conversation because we did the additions, right? Or did the addition, I should say. And now we have like a whole different realm of employees. So we're trying to figure out best case of the office space. Um, currently... Nobody's in the new town administrator spot, correct? Right. Well, You're still in your spot. Yeah. You're in the corner, right, of Kim's counselor next to Krista. Yeah. Okay. And then Krista and Kim. And then Jen's in her office. And I don't know if you guys have been to her new office in the new part. Mm -hmm. um, so there's been lots of conversation amongst the office employees on trying to utilize the space and figure it out. So... Um, I've talked a little bit to everybody and kind of, so I was thinking maybe we could kind of step in and try to help them make some decisions and figure it out. Um, because I was thinking town administrator should be in next to Jen. Um, it's a weird office though, because you have to go it, through the hallway to like- get It is them. weird. Um, because they do so much collaboration. Um, so, but maybe we shouldn't, maybe we should wait. Me, I mean, what about making a small, I don't even know if you need this, a small conference room there. They have one. Oh, okay. Where Brent was. Well, yeah, I thought that was like the kitchen. Area. Well, it is kitchen. It is kitchen. If somebody needs to do like a confidential kind of a meeting, they really should go downstairs because people use right. that for lunches and coffees and whatever. Yeah. But, you know, short meetings, Ron used to go in there and talk with people on zoning stuff. And, you know, Julie, when her office was back there, oh, was right. she would go sit in there to chat with people. Um, but, you know, if it's a longer meeting, they can come down here if it's not in use. So, you know, we've always had the two spots. Somebody had a request to use the space for something? Well, Thank you so much. Justin wants a different type of space, but we have to remember he's only here one day a week. Sorry, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> I, love you dearly to clarify that um i all i personally want is a window like if you'll see outside light get be able to open it have the air so that's just my preference wherever that lands me and unfortunately jen's old office 
is right next to the bathroom. It really should just be a storage room, but that's my opinion. And then Steven's office doesn't have, obviously it's just the, the windows. Are I, you? I don't care about the outside window. That's, isn't... And you're comfortable in there. Yeah. The only thing um, is I just, I need to have um, a space where I can, I can close the door. Yes. Um, so that I don't know if that means taking some, uh, or if we take, you know, put this table into Jen's old office and put some chairs in there so that I can go talk to you. Because there's going to be times where, um, I mean, basically somebody comes in my office, they they stand in the hall. Yeah, that's not uh, very convenient. And, you know, there's going to be times where people need to come in and sit down. Right. And be there for a few minutes. Do you so. want, I'm going to call it Brent's office, the old town administrator office? Um, well, no, he never even moved in there. Well, yeah, no, okay. So, yeah. The design spot for the... Yeah. Or you don't care? Um, yeah, but just, just as long as I have a, a space. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have a window. You just have the big window that, like, shows you to the... Uh, I, I has, peek around my monitor. I, stuff, what if you, yeah. I mean, that doesn't give just an outside window, but if you've moved even to what's supposed to be the town administrator office in there, you have... What about the listers when they're in there? Deanna and do, do they need space? But I like him saying that if you put that table in Jen's old office, mm -hmm. you would have a small conference room, I think. Right? That well, nice? I think we need to move some filing cabinets around. Oh, okay. it, it's right. so crowded up there. I mean, it's, that's, I, that's front space. I get, I'm like, oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> so the listers have the Lister's office in the back. That was when the building was renovated upstairs. Jen's old office was the Lister's office that was put there for them. Got it. it. Back office, she was four hours a day, Yep. one day a week. Got it. Except for a small time of the year where she came in more frequently. Than sure. Um, so that's why she was back there. Um, and when her and Deanna and Gary, because that was the lifter board at the sure. time. When they had to meet, there was space in there. They just dragged the chairs in. They would sit in there and have their meeting. If they were meeting with somebody, mm -hmm. a taxpayer, resident, whatever, they would just migrate into the break room, or if it was more than that, they would come, come down, down here and use the state. Um, now, where Justin is, when they do a meeting, if for some reason I'm not here, they do it right there at the you know the, the clerk counter. Mm -hmm. If I am here, then they'll come down here unless they need um, access to files or something. Then they'll do it up, upstairs. Um, but that's how it was used before the lister was moved out to the clerk's office. Yeah, it's a little hard. I mean, but with time is, yeah, no. Um, they're not really interested. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because that would have been another person. That's why I was just asking. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to do. I mean, you could set, uh, you know, a couple of, I mean, you could do two offices and that town administrator designated office is pretty big. Yeah. You know, that's true. The day that just, could you and Justin share that that one day a week he's here? Because coincidentally, that's the one day, why, why one of the Steve days. Why can't Steve out of where he is? Huh? Why can't Steve out of where he is? If Steve's happy where he is. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, I would have to, uh, I'd have to pull, I have all the zoning files in there. Um, so I'd have to pull, you'd have to pull the, the files out. Um, but I guess if we set up the other room, you know, where, because that's the big thing is I just, um, I need to a place that we can close the door. Yeah. Because you know, there's going to be certainly times that. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what I envision, but I don't work in the office. So, but I picture Krista, obviously in her spot. I picture Steve's office currently going into the, the new town administrator spot. Maybe the Lister stuff could go in there. So when they're here, they could work in there. And like Deanna and Leslie, like, I don't know what they have for file cabinets, if those could like, oh, a lot. Oh. Um, 
like from the walk to the entryway, not the entryway, the, the lobby, if you will, through the clerk door, those file cabinets, there's two of them on your left. Those are all lister files. Oh, uh, well, those could stay there, I guess. Come around, come around, Krista, and come over to where Justin sits. There's another lateral file cabinet back in that corner. And then you have one or two of the upright uh -huh. file cabinets. Two of the uprights, but I moved almost all, if not all, of the files from that lateral one over to those ones. Because okay. I thought that's what was happening. And, well, because yeah. that was one of the things we talked about. The list of files right now that you walk by when you walk in the, uh, the clerk office, those are so packed mm -hmm. that you can't. you can't put your fingers in there to try and add one piece of paper. Yep. They're packed. Yep. So Chris and I, and we were talking with Justin, if he could get all of his list of files out of that lateral cabinet into the empty file cabinets that are over there, then we could start shifting the list of files into that lateral empty lateral one but it would have to go so it could stay where it is but it would have to go somewhere so whether it's into a new listener office or stay there it just there they need more space we've actually even talked about putting that lateral cabinet on the old village side back where the server stuff is against one of the walls oh yeah that would be kind of out of the way yeah so there's just there are options for the files because they really they need that yeah. file space. And then Jen's old office is completely empty right now. So maybe files could go in there too, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about um, the like blown in insulation to do. Uh, before we do move the files in, I don't think that's an expensive endeavor, and we should try to you know do that for some job proofing. I agree. I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, you know, if we're gonna like we have the that's, table in there, you know, the, the sound effects may not be uh, exact. So it's <laughs> in the I mean, that's just yeah. That's, okay. Well, so many options. I don't know what else. Unless you're pulling against it, I, I think I like you going over by Jen. And you do have a door. You have space. You, I don't know, put that table in there and have your own little conference room if you need it. I don't know. And maybe Justin could work in there on Thursdays. Yeah, I mean, because I, I, I really don't. Um, I actually have very sensitive eyes. So I don't want to be in front of the window. So Justin's more than welcome to have that spot. Um, with that in mind too, acknowledging the need for more listers file space. Also, the zoning files are in the zoning administrator office right now, and want to recognize um, the town clerk's need for file space too. I know like, because yeah, though I don't. We had the conversation the other day. We yeah need to be able to expand the town clerk's area somehow or not take more of it, but well, I, I wouldn't say expand. I would just say I've already lost enough. I, I know. I can't use anymore. Like we lost a lot of file space when the listers were moved out to yeah to where they are now. Um, we had to give up that lateral file cabinet that was ours, and we had to give that up because the listers really needed you know more file space. Um, so I just don't want to lose space. I, I don't need to expand. I just don't want to lose. Uh, yeah. You'll be able to move around in there. <laughs> it's crowded. I don't know. And I guess I just don't like the idea of the listers being in that big new office that we built when they're only there a handful of hours a week. So what, why don't we the listers in Stevens our old office? <laughs> yeah. Or in Jen's old office. That's the one that's right next to the bathroom, and that's more of a closet. I don't know. Does the file cabinet go in there? And the lawyer's going to see the office. Mm -hmm. File cabinet's going to Ben's old office, and the lawyer's going to see the office. 
can also just acknowledge what Steven said that he doesn't necessarily want or like the window. But I, I know, but I don't want you're only there one day a week that big, yeah. in that big new it's, space. It's, I don't too, is we have to can, uh, keep in the, the, the zoning administrator coming in, so we're gonna have to have a space for that. Either. That's true. Oh, so you're not the zoning administrator? Well, we're having a discussion about that later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, we don't need to keep this right now, I guess. We can, that's true. I didn't think about that other. Chess. Yeah. Could they put a hallway to Jen's office to that door, then make a couple offices, let's put a border, you know what I mean, to make your Lister and Justin an office? Or a town administrator and Justin an office? In that big office? So if you come down through and just put a halt, so you walk through the door from, I'm going to call it Kim's office, going in, and the old village office, just make a hallway. I don't know what the legal width of a hallway is, three feet, four feet, whatever it is. And their offices can go off that, same as kind of like Jen's, you know, towards the window. Can you partition? Can you partition oh. and make that big office? As of right now, I, I would say it's a big office. Can you partition it and make two or three offices? I'm not sure. I don't I don't know. Maybe not three, but probably two, two for sure. Two yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a it's a with big. a hallway, you know, so you can come just say by Kim's copier, you can walk in and go down to Jen's whatever, not disturb Justin, not disturb just say Steve or whoever's in there. Could you not do that? I mean it's hmm. it's a pretty big office, you know, that, that room. I would say it is. If you made like just a hallway, it would position straight down to Jen's door if you went in from the copier side. Jen's got two doors right now, but the side that would go in the old village office, could you not petition that as like a hallway? Yeah. Or you can come straight through and Jen don't need an office door going into that room. They all can come straight out into the hallway, which Kim, sorry, I don't know what that file cabinet is where my mailbox is on top of, but it probably have to move could it be a door. Stuff. But could that go into like Steve's office? In a, a row of offices. If that was going to be, you know, you walk in the regular hallway straight into the town clerk's office, and you had a door for Jen, a door for Justin, a door for Steve or whoever off the left hand side. Of course, that costs money, but I like that. So, one of the, things, one of the right. things that I talked to Susan about um, when we were talking about the splitting of the of mm -hmm. Ron's job. Yeah. Is, you know, you know, we've got that great meeting table up there, and I can appreciate that extra meeting space. But one of the things I thought of is from the hallway up there that goes out the back door that looks up to the garage. Mm -hmm. If you're just inside that door, there's a closet, storage closet right there. Okay. Supplies, blah, 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 whatever. Behind that, you're in that meeting room. Okay. I said, why can't we make an office of that end oh, of the break room? Pretty much where Brent was. Go in, like get rid of the door, this closet, make that door and go into the office there. Our break room's a little smaller. Yeah. So it has enough room for a table if somebody wants to eat in there. Maybe not for meeting. Right, but, but this let's say you have down here. here you yeah. Know. I think there are things yeah. that can be done. It's a matter of cost because, you know, mm -hmm. now we're down to we don't have any more ARPA. Right, so, exactly. Now we're thinking of this. Yeah. Yeah. So, you okay. know, I think there, and like, you know, not that Mark's idea isn't good. No. I think there are just, there are some options. Just for sure. Know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm not opposed to either one of those. Okay. Okay. Well, don't expect they happen overnight unless figure something out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm glad. What? Go ahead. We do have the divider from Brent's old office, right? So I don't know if that could be like a test type of thing, but put it in that know, big and, space now and yeah. set yourself up in there and see what you think. And then that could be a space that you know Deanna could use and Leslie could use when they're when they come in when Justin's not here. Potentially. That's right. I forgot we have that divider. Try it out. And would it be called for you can the files cabinets removed down to what was what did we say, Jen? Jen's old office. Get them out of the hallway. 
So they're not, I mean, they're not in the way. When okay. We, when we design the upstairs, we have the measurements of the oh, okay. file cabinets and from the file cabinet to the wall, if you will, where Chris's desk is, that is ADA compliant. Okay. It was designed that way. Got it. So okay. They're not in the way. Got they're it. They're in the way if people are coming and going and poor Justin or Krista are trying to file or. Sure, or sure. But for the most part, no, they're not in the way. But you're in your, let's call it the town clerk space. Some of that can be moved because it's so overly crowded in there, really. But you have Jen's office that could be, that could still, even if we have another person, could definitely still be used for storage. Yes. Uh, I, I say storage, but I mean like file cabinets and stuff. <laughs> I, I really like Kim's idea of um, basically adding an office in the back, making a, a firm wall for, um, for Ron's, because that was one of the things that she brought up like way before when we were trying to figure out where sure. it's going to go. And uh, yeah, I, I always thought that was a great idea too. Yeah. Because you don't need much because just the, you know, to get to the closet in the back and then, you know, the microwave and, you know, the refrigerator's up on the counter. So, you know, all we need, to, you know, again, for ADA compliance, I think you have to have 36 inches. Right. But we do want a room for table. Yeah. We want a room to be able to sit. But you still room. would as long with as your time. idea, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like when Brent had that wall up, yeah. The space he left was not ADA compliant. And like literally somebody could stand at the microwave and you couldn't get back to the water center. Ah. Uh, so it was not even conducive for more than one person. Like one person in the microwave and then out. One person with a water jug and then out. Or you're like, excuse me, just gonna get the water. Yeah. You know. So, like the 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 office would have to be just a little bit narrower than what he created for himself. Okay. 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 Well, can we go up there and move walls around the divider sure. and see what comes out. And... Yeah. Put the divider up and see how that goes. At least put it in there and just see what the space looks like. Okay. Sounds good. Let's move along. Um, your newsletter. Yep. Um, so I'm adding learn to it. I mm -hmm. received some feedback. Anything? I, I'm gonna have the high park recreation start adding to the newsletter. Ooh, I'm gonna have start having Christie communicate. So maybe send out before you send out updates. Maybe just send an email to the high park email. At least. Yeah, good good idea. You would have updated the there, right? Uh, yeah. We did some cool stuff. Like we brought we brought like towers up. I heard that. It's uh, awesome. Our first Friday night lights. I heard that. That was just, that was awesome. That's pretty cool. It yeah, like, sounded like it was a big like, hit. Fifty people show up. That's awesome. Wow. It's yeah, amazing. It's for for youth soccer, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. The kids, I, the kids that I saw that went that participated in it, they would they thought it was so fun. It was cool. Um, municipal plan update with planning commission. Um. That I think before we so oh sure sir at some point I, I think the our money that was allocated for the high park rec for the ball field I think they paid it today they told me they were so like I didn't realizing that I think that was allocated it was told like I think I did everything but I want to make sure I told them to go ahead and pay that but. I think you could. I think we did that a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, because okay. you had to spend the, or we had to reallocate. Yeah. We had already obligated, yeah, we had already obligated your money. You're okay. good, but good call, Matt. Yeah. I think it happened today. Okay, cool. I'm trying to email infection, but it's been six months of me calling him every single day. Um. Okay, municipal plan update. Who's that coming from? The planning commission. Is that from you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Okay. And so they're having a public hearing on November 12th at 6 p.m. to discuss the um, updated land use regulations. So that's not the initial plan, that's first and for the town of Hyde Park, not town um, and village. The municipal plan, um, yeah, we continue to update that each month at the meetings, they go chapter at a time. Last month, I believe they talked about transportation and housing. So we'll call it talking about the next meeting, but it'll be on the agenda, second Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. Perfect. Okay, the 10-10 minutes. Are, 
do you need to make an update or? Yeah, so I, just, okay. I wasn't there and. No one took notes. Mm -hmm. No. I take you for granted, but you know that. Oh, we have an emergency meeting? Yeah. Well, we didn't just have a I do with my kids. We need to. I don't know why I was I wasn't even I was so worked up over that with planning that meeting. <laughs> it was a nervous wreck. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> do we have the because when we were talking with Sarah, this made me think of it. Do we have the find help linked on our website? Do we have to have a what? We have find help. The find oh, help. No, no. What's that? It's a community. It's a community like um website where people can go to find help and they can it literally will find any service like oh 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 I can just send like a gen or whoever. No, I know. I'm just wondering. I can't. The website is not floating right now. So I don't think we do. No. Does not sound annoying. Yeah, I hadn't heard of that either. It's learned so much tonight. That's what I'm saying. Resources. <laughs> then I'll make sure that that. Yeah. So, what do you have a question about? Wasn't clear what road was being talked about. Centerville Road. We'll see that. We didn't talk about the road. That's it's, funny. The road name did not come up at all. That is it's hysterical. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have it in the agenda. No. Nope. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> We know what we're talking about. We did. <laughs> we think we did. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to look over that motion, make sure like I don't think you need to tweak it at all. Oh, sure. It. Um, let's say motion yeah. to what approve the changes in the paving contract and use the funds from the paving reserve. Also, a, an amount wasn't made in that motion. Um, I'm presuming general amount. Yeah, it was. So it was eighty. Yeah, I thought. We well, it talked about seventy-five and eighty. There's eighty-three thousand. You got a good memory. Jen, are you still on? Mark's on. Yeah, Mark, do you remember the amounts for the paving? No. I have limited internet connection, so I'm on my phone too. Okay. Um and I don't, it was in the agenda, the amount. It was in the agenda email. That's right. Yep, that's right. It should be 300, I think it was like 312. I, I, I don't have the exact. I think it was like 312, I thought, but I may be wrong. Oops. In addition to the bid accepted, he's looking to increase the workload by adding a half inch, in, which is estimated at 63,552. There are 16 culverts. Were recently replaced that need to be overlaid at an estimate cost of 24,452 for a total increase over the original expected bid of 89,204. So it was a total of, I'm sorry, it was a total of uh 96,765 dollars and 55 cents. That so needed to come from the reserve 000. fund. 765 55 Thank you. Um, but the total was 300 and what? 315,335 Oh, I want to see the Okay, sorry. If I kept doing more math, it wouldn't help you. It would increase by $96,765.55. And the total is three hundred fifteen thousand three hundred and thirty five dollars and seventy cents. And that's for a center bill road paving. See, I see how much yes. I paid for it. I thought it was three hundred and eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty five fifty five. That should be the total. <laughs> that should be the total of the bill when we're done. Three hundred eleven thousand seven hundred sixty five fifty five. I think it's gonna be the total when we're done. If my calculations are correct, which I believe they're going to be. Three, you said three. And 11. that is 311, 
seven sixty five fifty five. I think I thought what we had. Proved, I thought that's what we had proved, but I think that's going to be the all the culvert crossings. It's going to be fixing the spot, the FEMA event on Centerville that DCS did, shimming that to smooth that up in an inch shim on Centerville Northlight Park Road with an inch and a half overlay. And we're extending just past uh, Mountain View Estates or Mountain Mountain Estates mm -hmm. up Centerville just to get past where all the traffic's turning off the dirt. And that's what I'm pretty sure the total is going to come in at, I believe. And I believe that was, well, if you're saying 315, I'm saying less. I think that's where we're going to come in at. So do we want to amend that motion? I'm not sure what your timeline was, but do you need that approval effect of that date? So amend that motion for then? Because they paid, started painting the next day. That's why we had to do an emergency meeting. But we right. were approving the increase. We only, yeah. yeah, all we approved was the increase of uh, one shim one, versus a half. Exactly. That's you do the three. There really wasn't it was a half and shim. And the reason why we had the emergency meeting is that they felt like it wasn't a half and shim wasn't going to hold up. Correct. So. Matt, what did you say the total was? Three fifteen. That was probably why the amount wasn't exactly. said. Because if you approve that, I'm going to promise you, I'm going to make sure they come in under that. And I'm going to push my number because we we were approving the half inch to one inch shim. Is what we. That's why we called the meeting. Oh. We we're changing that. So it seems like the board want to have a motion that has an amount for the increase to approve a specific increased amount. That was totally all approved. We or, approved the increase. Correct. That's and, what I'm and, telling you. And being spent from the reserve fund. And was it the increase was the amount? The eighty three thousand. Eighty yeah, eighty something. Yes. Go all the way off page. Yeah, looking it's to increased. increase the workload by adding a half inch shim, which is estimated at sixty three thousand five hundred fifty two dollars. Yep, there we go. The last page is handwritten. Eighty eight oh four oh four. Eighty eight oh oh four. Add the half inch shim with sixty three thousand five fifty two. And then the culvert crossing was something we didn't know about. So that's that was, right. Uh, that was what we had, yes. That's right. And that's where we came up with the 88. Yeah. So 88004 was the increase and in changing the half inch to one inch. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll take notes. <laughs> I think it was a three quarter to one, just to be correct. Huh? I think it was three quarter inches to one inch. Oh, it's three quarters to oh, it half. I think, well, I think so. I think it was three quarter to an inch. We approve. Yeah. It don't matter. Right. Well, it does. He's trying to put the motion together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, so we can't approve the minutes tonight anyway, because we don't have them. Because <laughs> you're doing them now. Oh, I did them. Yeah. That does. Okay. Oh, but I thought you're changing it. I can amend them. <laughs> I'm it, I thought it was half inch. The okay. Quotes. So the original quotes right here. Centerville Road, half inch shim type four. North Side Park Road, half inch type four shim. And then the original was twenty two hundred and thirty times at eighty four dollars. And then this other one was half inch shim, three hundred and ninety three pounds. That'd be on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Talking to her, she's young, so, so that was, it was my half inch point. Um, Jen, are you still on there? She's yeah. got a bad connection. Okay, oh, yeah, I see you there. Um, so when you go through this with the auditors, they'll be looking for a specific motion or amount, right? That's being used from the reserve, yeah. So the amount that's being to. it should. What? It should be higher or lower, or, you know, it needs to be at least the amount. So in the motion, they need to, they need to make a motion 
for to approve a, a certain amount increase or up to a certain amount increase. Right. And that's coming from the reserve. So yeah, uh, it's all in the in the packet. Yeah, but it goes right from that meeting minute. So like, uh, you make a motion to approve the estimated mm -hmm. expenditures total of ninety six thousand seven sixty five fifty five for total by mayor out of the reserve. Okay. No one said at the meeting. Um. So that's the motion. <laughs> He's not so, happy with us. <laughs> <laughs> He so, normally likes us. I don't think he does tonight. <laughs> so do you want to amend the motion from the 10, 10 minutes? To say what Jen wants us to. Yes. Correct. Okay. That's what we want to do. <laughs> Who wants to make that motion? Matthew, because he's because he's got it in his hand. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. All those in favor. That was okay. Nicole. And I, I, I sent some of the other board members a text message on this. So I was a push behind this. I, I, I do this for a living. My company is paying $82 a ton right now, FOB, to go buy it. Our town's getting it laid for $84.95 a ton. It's amazing. Considering it's costing, I mean, we're getting it laid for $2.95 a ton more than what it's costing my company to go buy a ton. Good deal. So all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstained? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we're good? Okay. Okay. So memo from the budget committee. So we have started a budget committee, as you could see, that consists of myself, Kim, Jen, Ron. Stephen. Um, and we're doing the process a little bit different this year um, to kind of, so we can hone in a little bit deeper on our budget. Um, so we're meeting with all the committees um, individually at different times. Um, the next couple Tuesday, well, after elections, the next couple Tuesdays, we're meeting with specific committees and then we're going to be bringing that to the board. Um, so if you guys have questions, et cetera, but, um, and Jen's giving us three years worth of everybody's budget so we can really look at it extra close this year. Um, and if anybody wants to join us, you're more than welcome to, um, and we need to, we need to talk about what our expectations are of an increase, a decrease, a stay flat. What are you guys thinking? Because we need to let the committees know what what our goals are and what our plan is. I don't think it's going to happen. I, I understand. I can't put as close as you can get to that. I mean, yeah. I think of a goal of under 3%. That's what I have. I think a realistic goal is under 3%. We've been. I think we 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 did we were at eight percent and dug out of the reserves last year to make it look like we were four percent. So I think in my mind, two to three percent increase, I think is you I mean your your employee your employee increase alone is three percent. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's a, I think that's a goal in my opinion. Okay. Two okay. to three. Probably well, we have no idea what people are coming with, right? You know, I'm meeting with Roger Marku tomorrow on Sheriff's Department. He wanted to meet with me separately. So, right, exactly, exactly. Um, so, um, he's one of the ones that I would just said is here's what it's going to be. Yeah, you know, it's a big part of our budget. You know, I mean, the highway and and. You know, those things are the big parts, but um, I mean, I don't think we're asking for anything big, but you're asking potentially to put a fire station on. So if you have a lot on the list, you're going to be like, oh, they're asking for an increase and this and this. Like that could get a little mm -hmm. like, whoa. Mm -mm. Yeah. So we could get shot down a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and 
the other thing Jen and I were talking about the other day is um, our capital planning. You know, we've we are falling behind, and we've really got to get on top of that, or we're going to end up needing everything in the same year. You know, we don't want to end up in that spot either. So, you know, we probably will have some just some big decisions to make. But um, you know, the greater the greater purchase keeps popping up. It's going to be done. So I don't know. Um, Mark, I know you're listening. Um, you know, so we're going to, we're going to hone down on the, the capital plan too. You know, we've really got to look at that. My big thing with the greater, we push it off then we're, we're already pushing. I know. And then where we're going to be three years from now, like oh, I I know. this I truck, it. that truck. How many hours is the greater now? I get it. I've got to look at it. I'm not sure. But I remember our last grader in 2006, I can remember, we kept it. You know what we did? Put a transmission in. First thing that spring. I'm not saying ours is going to need it, but I'm not saying it's not going to. You no, know, everything's out of warranty. We're trying to, so prior boards, we're trying to keep everything within the warranty. And we we're trying to go a year, cross our fingers, get rid of them. Because everything's so damn expensive now. And, but if, if we don't go with the grader, then are we going to put a transmission? I can't tell you yes or no. The trade-in value, obviously, or we sell outright, which I would strongly recommend sell outright now from what I've heard. Yeah, but we really that need to be yeah, put well, on with a bunch of trucks that now we just messed our whole capital plan up. If we get off it, we're it's hard to ever catch up. Sorry. I know. That's, so that's why we need to look at it. We haven't even really, we haven't even looked at it. I mean, we really need to have it. The board needs to look at it. And we really need to. And even like, and I'm not trying to put on a fire department in the extension or the whatever. We're on a capital plan. So our capital plan may be pushed off for that purchase. Well, we didn't get money for it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm mixed feelings. I'm not putting down the shelter or whatever. I'm just mixed feel, feelings that, well, we get put off to do an addition that we ain't got money for, so we're going to put that off. But down the road, I'm going to be just like Center Road Project was. Now I can't pay for four years. I can't buy a truck for four years. Now we're going to have all kinds of expenditures that we didn't know or didn't want or whatever. And cross my fingers, it don't happen, but I can't promise nothing. So needless to say, we're going to, have a lot to, to discuss over the next couple of weeks, which now leads into we need additional board meetings for budget season. So December and January, we need to add meetings. Um, and I would also like to talk about going back to two meetings a month just in general, which really only means February because then in March we're going to redo the board anyway. So I would really like to add a meeting for December, January, and February. It's totally against meetings, but I think that we have back, it's, it's only the time like that I really spend a lot of time coaching. I know. I'm sorry. And I know it's budget yeah. season. So and I know that you're busy, Matt. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, totally you know? Good. If I have to miss one or two, I'd so be it. Exactly. Be yeah. Busy. That's right. And, and most of the budget stuff goes over my head anyway. <laughs> um so let's look at December. How do I get to December? Right after November. I know, but I can't get my calendar done. Well, so I have December 3rd for the evening. Yeah, that we have to have in addition to that one. Oh, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so when did we hell? reschedule our, because one of them's on Christmas Eve, so. We reschedule. The 17th. So it's going to have to be the 10th and the 17th then because the 24th is. Christmas Eve and the 31st of May. So it's on the 17th then. Let me move. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I thought Justin said it was. That one I'm just saying you don't have to move. You know, you come here Christmas. What the heck? Yeah, December 17th has already been moved. Yeah. Wait. Moved to December 17th. Oh, okay. Okay. So we have one the third. We could. What time is the. Northside Park one, do we know? Usually seven. We haven't confirmed with Eden yet, which I think we know them. Um, but it's typically been seven o'clock. We could meet at five before that. 
make a night of it because be here. <laughs> because we could make that be budget heavy the day? uh December 3rd um because we would have met with all the committees by then and we could bring some stuff forward for discussion and then we could zoom to North Hyde Park I think that oh, that sorry. I think that would work and then we'll leave December 17th obviously okay so we're going to leave it at five as long as seven is the the North Hyde Park. Park and that's the fire station Yep. Yep. And then the 17th. Yep. And then January. So we've got December 3rd. Okay. And our January meeting is the 28th, right? Or normal. Well, January 7th. That, like, then if we have ever moved something else. Okay, go to 7th. And then, then you have room for the 14th and 21st if you have to call mm -hmm. them, which you're probably going to have to or get a big storm at that time. Yeah. Yeah, because when do we have to have what's the drop dead for so I haven't calculated the okay. date, but generally it's the end of December and it has been anywhere between the twenty eighth and February. I think the latest I've ever seen it is February second. Do you mean January second? No. Oh so February. Okay. February. So the your drop dead budget stuff yeah. is our town report publication date. Got it. So we need the warning finalized, mm -hmm. we need the budget finalized, and I haven't looked at the calendar to figure out okay. what that is, but also we wait for an email to come from the publisher to say these are our proposed dates based on the statutory requirement of you delivering your town reports to your voters. Okay. So we they back into it. But generally it's like that end of the week that you know end of the month okay so then the seventh would be good because then we does leave us room if we have to normal 5 30 time yeah so the seventh and the 28th yep um, so can i add something about yeah meetings? yeah so um december 2nd okay is an abatement hearing as select board members who are members of the BCA and members of the board of abatement. Um, that meeting will be at six o'clock. We will be having um, abatement for two properties that David Rain sold to the state and one abatement for the Nye property at the corner of 100 to 100 C that the town took over. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be abating those taxes for the remainder of the year. The board of abatement forum is a majority of the board. Okay. It's not a majority of those present. So we need as many people there as possible or okay. it has to be postponed until we have the forum. Six o'clock. Training for that, that is one of them. Yes. Um, do you think I have a meeting at seven that night at the library? Do you think we'd be done by seven? I think that we should be because it's not like a, a taxpayer coming in to okay. explain their you know, minute, situation. Minute. These okay. are state purchases, town purchases, we're abating, you know, for those things. Now, mm -hmm. if we get another request that from a taxpayer, it'll be added to the agenda. So I just want oh, for people to be aware that we need the the majority of the BCA there, or we can't hold anything. We can't. No. Can I throw in the caveat to that? If they're the quorum of the listers and the select board and the treasurer are there, then that counts and the BOA can continue. As long as those people are there, that doesn't ever happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have been at meetings where um, mm. we are, we're calling and texting people. Are you on your way? Yeah, I was there last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> Matt. <laughs> you say six o'clock okay. and that's here too Kim okay okay so <laughs> I was here <laughs> okay so to recap December 2nd abatement meeting 6 p.m December 3rd 5 p 5 p.m. here and then 
potentially seven o'clock headed to North Hyde Park Fire Department. That will be budget ridden and if Jen needs warrants or anything. Um, and then our regular meeting the 17th, 5.30, January 7th, 5.30, January 28th, 5.30. Are you and let's go into, yep, yeah, let's go into February. February 25th would be our regular, right? So February 11th. February 11th, 5.30. And February 25th, 5.30. Do you want me to tell whose idea this was, Savannah? And then March 4th is town meeting. Oh, we're going to put that in here. Oh, my God. I know. I know. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So we are good on that. Um, Thank you, guys. So as far as goal percentage, that's on the record. So we can, so we will be coming forth to you guys with information as that goes along. Is there an informational meeting, the town meeting on March 3rd? the day before town meeting? So our town, sorry, my medication. <laughs> um, our town has generally done an informational meeting at the select board meeting prior to, and they've done it that way, even if it's not within the 10 days, um, because we're not generally presenting something at the town meeting that requires that within the 10 days. Um, a vote for, an ordinance or some vote of bond or whatever. If we do that, then obviously there will have to be an informational meeting within 10 days of town meeting, which could be Monday night. Okay. Otherwise. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Okay. So ARPA funds update. We obviously just did the 20 grand. Uh Jen, do you have, we have 8,700 left to obligate? Looks like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say got, that. So got 8, I'm like, what can we do with that? I don't want to think about that. I have some guidance from Ron, too, if we don't um, spend it all. Uh, to update you guys in December on ways that we can eat it up uh, for, like, um, to help offset costs that we we're already incurred over our budget. Oh, okay. There's a plan if we don't spend it. Okay. Okay. Oh, on the warrants, we haven't even looked at. Um, so we can hear it. Yes, please ask your question. Okay. Yeah, I, have a question. I don't know who to ask this question to. I just I think it's a good one for I, him to hear too. I went through all these warrants piece by piece, just because I was bored last night. Um, and there's one for there's two warrants bills in here, and one of them is for over five dollars a gallon for the library, and I don't know who. But can we get like on a negotiation? Like we shouldn't be paying five dollars a gallon for anything. Like I can't believe we don't have town pricing. I can't believe I know that's we don't so have anything. That's, is that crazy? That's crazy. That's what we pay at Malco too. That yeah, no, we should be on a town. But, but it's because we only have a small bank. But yeah, so but the library chance. I don't care. Like usually they they like a town can get a certain rate yeah. Yeah. Or, a, or a buy a group. I don't I can't believe we don't have some kind yeah. of we didn't pay it anywhere near that at home. And we have a real small thing. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I remember. What is it like again? Corn energy. Yeah. And, it's and is it oil? No, it's propane. Oh, oh propane. It yeah. does it's stop still. So yeah. how come I don't know if we've ever done it? I can't ever think of it happening, but why can't we shop it? Shop it. We can. If, like if we yeah. did it before the season. You can you can shop it for the town. Exactly. So I used to work there and I, I'm a customer of theirs. You you call them and say, like, we need you need to we need to do better. If they can't, we'll shop around. I mean, that just seems five, over five dollars for a gallon. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean usually the uh, propane and the, 
they have a lot of negotiation, which, um, because I've seen it before, yeah. and I've always been put off by like the big volume people, how much less, I mean, like half. It is you know, crazy. If you can sell it to somebody else for 250 okay, then maybe you'll only be needing to do 350 Exactly. Right. I, yeah. Like, no. But yeah, I know people that like businesses that like co op, basically, yeah, exactly. and say, we're going to take. You know, the three of us, maybe you can give us a price you can deliver on the same day. And I think if you don't ever say anything, they just go with whatever they've sent there. Because the, the library has oil, right? No, it's that's the library. It's the propane Oh, so they probably didn't use that much of it. No, but it doesn't matter. No, it's I right. know. We we should be on some kind of contract. I don't care. What we're, the, and we're a town. You'd yeah. think it would be a better price. So it shouldn't be per propane tank. It, you know, if they use it up at the ball field, okay, that's. But if we could get, do you have any propane here? Or is it only oil? We're, we're electric. It's electric heat? Yeah. Upstairs, all around, electric. Yeah, so that's, a, that's another budget item, the rent, because um, it used to be part of the rent that the town paid was, I'm sorry, the village paid was the oh. electric. I was kidding. I was saying the same zero. <laughs> well, is that, is that with the electric bill? It, like, because I was looking at the warrants too. I don't know what, what kind of week was this because I was randomly looking at all the warrants too. Uh, I think, I mean, I can tell you that our electric bill that we pay at our facility is still more than what you pay here. Mark, so you can go, you know. don't have to stay on here if you don't want to. We don't have electric heat. Yeah, there. Yeah. See Mark's hanging out with uh, us. He so must be bored have, tonight. I want to go on executive session on a personnel issue on myself, I think. Oh, okay. That's possible. Uh -huh. so oh, I okay. Go or you want to call me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, Mark. Um, and then my other question is the, another board's bill. They did a the fireplace cleaning there. And they charge for the fireplace cleaning, and then they charge for ninety five dollars dispatch fee. And I'm like, that's what's that for? Exactly, because exactly. she called to have it cleaned. But you know, you're on the <laughs> schedule. Like a dispatch fee should be like, I didn't, I called you and I need you today, like an emergency fee. I would, right. You know, like if you schedule something out, you're paying ninety five dollars to schedule. I'm not. Never mind. So I just think Chastity. Yeah. Suggestion on the library invoices, the um, order of responsibility is the library director and the library trustees. Oh. So the, those are all approved by them. You might, as a select board, you're reviewing them, but you might wanna ask the library director what is going on. The wholesale propane is like 342 a gallon right now in Vermont. So you might want to just, you know, see the invoices is what you're doing, which is exactly the right thing to do. But your your direction is back towards the library director, library trustees. Well, yeah, and I think so. And then just maybe getting somehow uh, a call to warrant, whether it's all right. Even but maybe sure. calling and saying what's our what's our overall town pricing. I don't know how that goes. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole nother issue. Uh, right. I, I, I do remember the um, attempts at going into bulk uh, wholesale pricing bids. And what was the problem that didn't happen? I don't remember that. Yeah, so what we did, oh, geez, 10 years ago. Uh, yeah. Um, somebody, and this, this would all have to be redone, but somebody has to go to each department, find out what their annual gallon needs are. Oh, yeah consolidate those and then present them to the various vendors. And there's only two or three vendors generally for each type of fuel that are going to deliver to the Ron, facilities. Ron, you and then, that, and then you ask, and then you ask, you have two choices. You can set a fixed rate for the year sometimes, or you can do a price above rack. And I think we got five cents over rack, which is the wholesale price out of Albany for yeah. fuel oil. And and they and there is benefits for the municipality because we're a guaranteed payer, you know. The, but one of the problems that the vendors had was that the quantities were so low. Uh, we're not a big user, but if you go out to bid, 
you know, you have to do that little bit of research and then ask for price over rack so you know how much you're paying over wholesale. I know what you're saying, but I also like they have all the records. I would call them and say, what can you do better? Put it all in their court. Yeah. If they don't want it. No, that's the that's the first case. step for sure. Yeah. No, if yeah. if departments aren't doing that, if departments aren't doing that now, that's a that should be a reminder to them. But if you do get if you do get a bid issue, then there's a little bit of work to do on that. Not impossible, but good to do every year or two. Okay. Well, okay. All right. Um <laughs> oh, do you guys want to approve the warrants since you Okay. I'll make a motion to approve warrants. Okay. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed, abstain. Jen, do you want to add anything besides what was in your awesome memo? Do you guys have anything for her? Those are my two questions. Okay. Uh, the, just. Uh, update. I just did text the guy. He didn't pay today, so we'll we'll see the invoice for the paving of the high park rack. Yeah, okay. yeah, Jen. I don't know if you were on earlier when Matt um, mentioned that they're going to pave tomorrow up at the rec center at the rec fields. I did hear that. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. But there should be some money left over. So once once you get that invoice in, whatever whatever bullet is left, it's going to be like. A thousand bucks or something like that. So they will reallocate that. So I guess once Perfect. Jen sees that invoice, we'll just reallocate it. Jen, do you want us to reallocate the three hundred dollars for the website that you didn't need? Sure. I'll make a motion to reallocate the three hundred dollars for the website back in. Second. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed, abstain. Yeah, I just make one more note that we have the town office renovation and we have, I don't think you can build a wall, but there's 682 that we already have obligated. So mm -hmm. I was hoping that we could get um, the security cameras installed. And that's, that's where I was. When it was oh, I, yeah. we bought them? They didn't get put in? Oh. I have this written down. I, 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 I was going to ask what the status of the camera was. Ordered after the administrator was assigned because they've never been ordered after he got the approval. So, got it. Jen got him ordered. Got it. We just need to have them installed. Why don't you get a quote from Cheney? From who? Cheney does it, right? He moved. Really? Isn't that Tory's husband? Is that who you're talking about? They moved to like Kentucky. We're thinking of the same person. He's out of business, yes. 100%. Okay, I thought so. Our, our <laughs> they moved a long time ago. Company, our I... fire alarm co company took him over because we used to be Cheney back, way back. And now, Kim, you know who it is now because you've been very vocal with him lately. <laughs> who, who's, do you know who installed the cameras at the fire department that they just put in? Yeah. They did themselves. Ryan did. No, Brian. No, didn't he? Brian. Robert did. Laird. Oh, Robert Brian, Laird. Robert and Brian did it. So Robert saw them, and then Brian Pena, who is an IT tech yeah. at SCI Ireland, helps them with their IT stuff. Okay. Robert Sullivan. No, Robert Laird and Brian Pena. Laird L A I. Robert and Robert did, uh, Brian helps with um, Ethan and Donna Hills at their house too. Brian, so P E N A. I don't forget. I'm sure. Right. Yeah, and yeah, Brian was the IT tech at Umoil for yeah, Brian. I had asked local electric to give us a quote because they were in the office giving us oh. looking at a quote for a generator, but he said he wasn't familiar with the security oh. camera system, and I haven't heard back from him. So, okay. okay, if anybody has any leads or suggestions, I would, I would chase him down. So okay. Uh, I thought about reaching out to Mark Alexander oh, since he no. just did the other stuff for us, but I'm not sure He's if electricians or I, I security off. camera experts. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that, Jen? No. Warren Dompierre. I'll have to see if we can find some contact information. He's yeah, going to be just, just started a new. Okay. Yeah. He's like, yeah. 
Okay. He's fresh and young. You might get a young cat if it's something like that. A lot of guys don't want to try all these camera stuff. Well, right, and get his name in here, right? He's a local kid. He grew up here. Yeah, now I know who he is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure if you just look him up on Facebook, he probably has his business stuff. Okay, I know he does because I've seen your issues. Okay. Okay. Uh, the other one would be like local electric. Or not she local, asked I, local. Uh, who's Marcel? What's Marcel's business? Gould. Gould. Oh, yeah. Gould. Okay. Uh, do we have anything else before we yeah, I, I, move? Oh, sorry. I get the two things. Okay. I wonder if I could um, uh, have the select board authorize me to uh, first sign on behalf of the town on the FEMA documents. Um, is the, the, I've, I've had you sign a few things. Yep. Brian was signing them before. Um, if, if I could be uh, authorized to do that. And also to sign the 1111 permits at the town that's the road the access permits oh you were already assigned to do that no no brent was signing them. oh i processed them and everything oh okay i yeah. thought you did yeah okay. mark and i usually go you know site visits right but yeah brent was uh was signing them. okay so i'll make that motion okay. second it for both items yeah okay <laughs> all those in favor signify by saying aye aye opposed stained I just want to give a yep. quick update yeah. um, on the fire alarm. Oh, okay, yes, so with please. The, I, I spoke with, I can't remember the name of the company, but it's the company that monitors, not the monitors, that services on the fire alarm panel. Mm -hmm. um, they had to order that. So that's why they haven't been here to okay. look at it. They've had to order it and they're waiting for it. Okay. Um, as soon as that comes in, then they'll come in. Okay. Um, and something else. Are we gonna need to do an insurance claim? We will once we get any, you know, invoices. All the prices. Mm -hmm. Um, we will, you know, have to do that. Okay. Um, who makes that? Pardon me. Who does that? I think the insurance claim. Yeah. You, you guys. So, well, Steve can work on that. Jen and I can work on you know getting him or you know the invoices to file the claim with the LCT. Um. Um, there's something else I'm really struggling to remember. I apologize. I'll think that. Okay. The speed limit. So like new, new old business. Where are we at with the speed limit signs? Where are we at with the speed limit signs there, Mark? Did you order? Jen had one. I'm trying to unmute. I have not ordered all the signs because I don't know where we're at on... I don't think we got the ordinance yet done on if it's 45, if it's 50, 50 or what. I've got a bunch of sign posts and I'm getting gear coming for part of it, but I don't I don't think I've seen the ordinance where it's been in on what we're going to do, say, McKintree Hill to Royal Park Road. I think you might find something if you could look for that, please. I'll look further, but I don't. No, 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 not you, Mark. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, you can't see me. I was looking at Stephen. I'm sorry. But for everything, but for everything, like it's it was starting to be like all dirt roads are going to be posted, all blacktop. But I don't think anything's ever been agreed on if we're doing everything or is it restarting with. I remember we had the map in the beginning that taxpayers were noting, you know, like Centerville by the fire station, bringing that up actually to 35, I believe, from 25. Yeah, there's been a bunch of stuff, but nothing's been set in stone. And I don't want to order, you know, forty more, forty-five mile per hour signs when we don't need them. So I want to see what needs to be posted so we can order them. But uh, I want to order them right off so we can get them because we have our money. We're going to spend right. So yeah, we're going to spend that by the end of the year. Yeah, I did just buy a bunch of uh, used sign posts that look like brand new because they're half price of a new one from Lafayette. And I think I'm going to send the guys down to get another load. They got 50 the other day. I think I'm going to send them back to get another 50 because they're, I think it's $6 a foot for a new sign post. It's $3 a foot for used. And my guy, I went looked at them one day and I went down to get parts. And they were like, when I got them, like, they look brand new. You can't tell. They weren't around very long. They're brand new. I, was like, I know. That's why I'm spending $3 less a foot because they're like brand new posts. Okay. So I want to buy all those I can. 
plus you know the signs, but I don't know what the signs are yet because there's nothing confirmed that I've seen. Okay, so did you that right? Mm-hmm. We yeah, we gotta get that. So if you could look into that, because yeah, I thought we agreed to all that, and I thought we were gonna work up a new ordinance for it, right? I thought we agreed yes. to everything that's needing paid with forty five hundred. Or anything unpaid. Or five minutes, yeah. But Mark's point is right because we have like by the fire station and stuff. Yeah. I thought we laid it all out. I thought well, we did. I think it's all laid out somewhere. Yeah. We talked about this. Yeah, I think it is. And so. quite depth yes. conversation. Yeah. I thought we voted. I thought we did all this. So yeah. No, none of that needs a speech study. It's all good just by you guys voting. I know some of it we need speech studies. Yeah, that's, but I think we had all that. That's what we're talking about. We feel like we only have speed studies on very few roads. I know that for sure. Because Ron told us about, yeah, if you Centerville, said- Centerville's got a speed study. I think Cricket Hill's got a speed study. Yeah. I think this was Ron's time, right? When we yes. did this, mm-hmm. but we didn't do every, not every road had a speed study. I do know that. Hello. So that's what I'm waiting. Like, do we need <laughs> to do that? Ron. <laughs> I try, you know, the, the signs start with the ordinance, and the the current ordinance is whatever the date is. So that's what I'm trying to look up. Okay. There was a there was a 2018 ordinance, and it looks like the traffic ordinance on the website is 2018. I do have some notes for a 23 amendment. Remember when um Steve Morse was coming and a bunch of mm-hmm. um, other residents wanted some side roads done. And the board was like, we can't afford all the side roads. So let's focus on the class two roads and uh, change the, um, the 20, the, what Mark said, the, the 0.9 miles of Centerville, which is gravel from 25 to 35. So there's a, there is a list that can be done. What we need to make sure and Steve uh, can verify this what is the current town ordinance if that is if that was done i just i can't remember where we left it if it was finally adopted in 23 or sometime in early 24 or, or not at all um, they, that needs to happen first now set, having said all that it is possible just due to the timing with the arpa funds to figure out what needs to be spent for dollars and get all of your standard signage that covers all those potential options. You're only talking about stop signs and speed limit signs generally, and maybe some caution signs, um, yellow signs. But you know that I think that's the backup. If you really find if you find out you do have issues with the actual ordinance, whether it's a ordinance adoption thing or or somebody wants to change their mind, um, if Mark is approved. Uh, or Steve is approved, however you want to do that, to spend up to the maximum amount of the ARPA budget, then you don't have to, you won't have to come back to the board. It would just be staff has to figure out how to get an order and, and get the signs ordered under that cap that you would set. So it, effectively, it takes it off your, off your agenda. We've already approved $16,000 of ARPA for the signs. Yeah. So if, if that's, if that, well, depending on how you approved it, but if, if that is an approved expense, then you don't really need to see this again. And Steve could work directly with Mark and me to just make sure the ordinance is in order and get the signs order to be done with it. Okay. Can we, can you three do that? Please. I think so. it'd be better use of your time for sure. Cause I promise Steve signs up there. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it would be to to stop go, to stop it being on your agenda, taking time up. If you just direct that work, we can get it done. Okay, I'm gonna direct this you three boys to do that for us. <laughs> Please, thank you. We'll, we'll figure it. We'll, we'll figure out and let it let you know what happens. Perfect, like that plan. Thank you. I remember the thing. Okay. Is it- do you know where, or maybe Ron, I don't know, um, know where the electrical panel update is at? I know he's been paid for some of the, the materials. Has anybody heard from him on like planning on the update? Yeah. yeah. 
What was my, what did my email say? We're waiting for a quote, aren't we, Ron? From Mark Alexander? Uh, Mark had provided a quote. He needed to coordinate a closure of the office because I think the amount of work that has to be done is a like a two or three day window that right. he wanted three days, if not four. And I, the last conversation I had with him was just to see if we can get away with three, maybe tie it into a you know, a holiday weekend for the staff. But I, I haven't picked that up since that, you know, eight months ago, maybe. So that conversation about when to close the office definitely needs to be oh, had. No, I thought we talked to him before that. I mean, since then. You haven't talked to him recently? No, it was, it, I talked to him about the generator bids that, we, that, uh, Jen, that, Jen, that Jen was working on and then, you know, the payment of the materials but we never got into the scheduling of the work. And I don't, I really don't know where that is. Okay. So we don't know where that is. So, okay. Let's follow up. But it needs to be coordinated with Kim's needs. Do you want to reach out to him? Yeah. And just CC me? Yeah. Okay. They're going to be closing around the holidays, like between Christmas and New Year's already. So he could come in and do it then. Don't know what his I was going to say, right? Like, but, that's tough, but yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, you want to make a motion for executive session? Motion for executive session oh. for personnel with the, with the allowance of Mark. Okay. That's why I wanted to clarify um, that we'll need a few different motions in and out of executive session. One for Mark and then come back out, and then one for Stephen, if you want to still do that, and come back out, and then two motions for the interlocal panel contract. No. So to prove, like to recognize that the tonight, um, interlocal, yes, recognize that the contract falls under the statute reason to go into executive session and then to officially go into it. So we're looking at about four motions. So number Have one, fun. Good night. Yeah. yeah, Ron. I don't think I'm needed. I, I think, but I'm gonna. Yeah, I think you're good, Ron. Okay. Yeah. Have, a, have a good night. Have fun. All right. Bye. Thank you. Yep. Jen, I think you're good too. Thank you so much. Okay. Good night. 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 Oh. Okay. So, so that first motion is good. And. Um, Green Mountain Access, I'll let you back in when we're op um, open again. So I move to appoint Steve McDonald as interim town administrator with the annual salary of $59,800 for 23 hours a week with no other paid benefits except for ATO. With it, when we review that up to three months and we will provide a, a, a um, offer letter as soon as it's written up. Retroactive back to October 1st. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Great. Welcome to the team officially. Thank you. Thank you. They changed all the ADU rules now, you know. Well, um, no other paper benefits other than sick time, right? ETL. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes. I'll see you. I, I know I need to get my subject amended, so okay. I'm going to change it. Okay, but now we're going back to the next session. Right? Correct. So if you want to, oh, we'll wait for Justin. I also think I have a W. Oh, me those? violation. I did. Oh, these, yeah, that's right. I came right. in and did this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, there's a, <laughs> there's a, there's a tolerance. I mean, overall, what's the square footage change? Is it less than 10%? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I wouldn't sweat that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I Okay, so we have a motion um, to acknowledge the need for executive session. 
um, under Title I, uh, BSA 313A13, after making a specific finding that premature general public knowledge would clearly place the public body or person involved at substantial disadvantage for a contract. So does the select board think and acknowledge that having the discussion in public regarding the Lamoille County Kennels would be it put someone at a disadvantage? Yes. Okay. So who wants to make the motion to acknowledge? I will. I'll second that. No. Yes. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm asked. Okay. I second something. <laughs> <laughs> I oppose. I oppose. <laughs> Motion by someone to go into and a second. I did. Did I second it? No, you approved the reason. Oh, I'll move that. I'll make the motion. Oh, and I'll second it. Promise this on that With time restraints. <laughs> yeah, with time restraints, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> With no action taken. Yep. yep. Perfect. Motion to adjourn. I make the motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Thank you. Anybody oppose? Let's <laughs> 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 stay longer. <laughs> <laughs>